Just starting, okay? It says Hangout is live. Yeah. We're hey. live up in here. Team Top 5 back again. This is, what, stream number 10 here. So shout outs going into double digits. Thank you, as always, for the support that uh, you guys really made this such a such a fun thing that we've gone 10 streams now, if, that's, if you can believe it. So we got uh, two other, yep. <laughs> Oh, that is my audio coming back. Okay, okay, cool. So we got two other YouTubers in here, of course, and we'll have another one joining a little bit later. If you can guess who it is, one who's always late. Um, <laughs> so joined here by Timmy and James, dedicated uh, members here of Team Top Five, yes. AKA the fastest growing YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, sometime in the future, very, very soon, we will also have a Team Top Five channel where it's gonna be all of us either collaborating or doing live streams. So that's coming very, very soon for you guys to look forward to. Um, and we'll keep you posted on that, sure thing. So why don't you guys introduce yourselves, uh, Timmy? I'm Timmy from the channel Imagine the Sand. If you guys, if this, if, you, if this is your first live stream, welcome. Yeah. And, oh, we're staying Sand of the Day. My Sand of the Day, yes, yes, I think it's day. aqua. Oh. But I just went swimming, so it's all like washed off now. But <laughs> that's right. It's, it's now one day. with the aqua. Yeah, it's not one with the aqua. So I did wear and make this aqua. Nice, solid, solid, solid. How about you, James? What is going on? My name is James from J Royal. I am the newest member of Team Top Five. Yeah, um, it's great to be here. And my scent of the day is Boy Chanel. Hey, nice, nice. Because I'm feeling like a little boy today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful Miss X fragrance, lavender heavy. A nice white musk and uh, its performance on me is insane like I still smell it uh, projecting like a mother so <laughs> nice. cool. like a mother okay and uh, obviously my name is Bradley from the channel triple ink which you are on right now thank you as always for watching and I have two cents of the day I wore this one earlier it was a uh, tea for two from Lardy Zahn a little sample and love this so much I'm gonna be picking up a bottle of it a uh, great gingerbread kind of a tea sense and then what I'm wearing right now is Dolce Gabbana's The One, the Eau de Toilette's classic staple for the fall. I had a little engagement party of a friend I went to, and I think it worked great for that. So those are my two scents of the day. And we'll also be joined by Manny from Cascade Scents. He's hopefully going to be making it on pretty soon. And I'm going to leave mm -hmm. all of the fellow reviewers' links in the description box down below. So if you want to, of course, check out their channel, support. Uh, it just mm -hmm. helps grow our, our community and network. And that's one of the reasons why we do this. Uh, so we got a full plate lined up for you guys today. We have, of course, our normal uh, sort of discussion of what new fragrances, new releases have just dropped. And we got a couple of them, some very interesting ones to, to dive into. And we will also be having a little game. And this is actually a game based around the fragrance community itself. We're going to be asking a couple of questions, but I don't want to give away too much. So we'll have to wait for that. And then towards the end, we will, of course, have our question and answer. So if you have any burning questions you want to answer, we can do that. And then right in between that, we will also have back to school sense if they pass or fail. So we're going to be seeing all of these. So we got a full plate lined up for you guys today. And you guys doing good? Um, ask you how your day's going. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Very great. And also guys in, in the comments, you can ask questions now. We'll hopefully get to some uh, if we have a little bit of downtime. So with that, Definitely. let's get right into some new releases. So I'm sure you guys know of one from uh, Mr. Tom Ford that has just recently dropped. Which we will not say it on this yeah. stream. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, effing fabulous is is the name. And literally, I thought this was like a joke or a meme. Uh, I think, Timmy, you were the one who you sent this to our little Team Top 5 page. And I was like... Yeah, I thought it was a joke, but it's on for granted. It so it must be, like, true. But then, yeah, <laughs> right? So uh -huh. at first I thought it was a joke. I'm like, what? And then I realized it's, it is it is Tom Ford. So they could do something this controversial. And I heard it is a limited release, mm -hmm. so it will be gone. Uh, the price tag is higher. Um, so I've heard it's going to be $315. <sighs> wow, yeah. for 50 or for, no, for 100 I yeah. Think, <laughs> yeah, I think, I, I don't know for maybe a 50. Wow. But um, but yeah, it is a limited release. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot out there. I think it's going to hit the counters um, soon in, like, I think, a week or two here. Mm -hmm. So you guys can go and get a chance to smell them. Definitely. Before you buy. But um, that, like, with that price tag, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's insane. Like, I can only imagine the future price tag when people <laughs> start scalping. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. nuts, Unless yeah. it smells like fantastic, like fabulous, yeah. I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> fabulous, yeah. really. So like I'm looking at the notes and it's quite interesting. It's got a lot of these what I, I think it's gonna be very powdery from what I'm thinking. It's got like almond, oris, which is generally a pretty powdery note, tonka bean, mm -hmm. which makes you powdery as well, yeah. leather, uh cashmere. In. I don't really know what to make of it, you know. It seems like it's gonna be a light leather. I don't, don't know how that's gonna work with Tom Ford though. Mm -hmm. I like how there's um, a prominent almond note already mm -hmm. in Grantica. <laughs> 45. <laughs> 45, like, who smells you, that? <laughs> you see that dislike bar? Like, wow. It's that's ridiculous. all the way down there, oh it my is God. insane. And of course, okay, when I think I checked earlier, someone said it was similar to Aventus or something, but it must've gone away, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> always. You know, like, um, what if it smells really nice and someone asks you what, you, what you're what you wearing? I know, like, no, it's called it's effing fabulous by Tom Ford. <laughs> you're like, uh, okay. You're going to say it with a certain lisp, too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> fabulous. <You're> right. <laughs> so that was that was pretty huge. I dropped, what, like, Tuesday, Wednesday, or sometime in the middle oh, of the week. Oh, here it is. And... Available September 7th at Tom Ford Boutique. So September Ooh. 7th. Um, in four days, we're going to get to go smell. Uh, yeah. I won't be able to, but... Anybody who can, sure, let us in the comments also know and how you I use got you this. got you family. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So we also had some other releases. Uh, let's stick with Tom Ford. I think there was Tobacco Oud Intense and Oud Wood Intense that I believe just I actually, dropped. I've never smelled Tobacco Oud Intense, but I've had I've just smelled um, Oud Wood Intense yesterday. Someone sent me a sample of it, and honestly, man. Um, I like. I can't lie at all. I really don't like it. <laughs> wow. I mean, because wow. like I don't know. It seems just dense and weird. Like yeah. I like the old oud wood the original because it's not dense. It's like light, sweet, woody, and that one smells amazing. The oud wood intense just I don't know. It doesn't doesn't fare well with me. And I was with some friends that day too. That's visiting from another city. Mm -hmm. And I had them all smell it. There, none of them liked it. So yeah, like I was never a fan of the original. So. Only intensifying it, I don't know if that's going to make it better. It's not even, I don't think it's even an intense version. It feels like a different fragrance to me. Really? Huh. I want to I want to try it in comparison to the vintage because I do have gold label oud wood. So mm. I have my oh. sample coming in any day now. So I'll, I'll try and do a side by side and see if there's any. Gonna plan a raid on James' house. For I know, right? You, you, <laughs> you've got to be careful when you say gold label oud wood in, in, in the same <laughs> sentence. Because and vintage M7, yeah, and vintage <laughs> Gosh, yeah. So that was so, Canada soon, huh? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. That is. <laughs> gonna lock my step up. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. So Tom Ford definitely doing work as it seems um, mm -hmm. so far in September. You know, in these releases. Uh, let's do another one from Daniel Gallagher, who I know watches some of these live streams. Daniel, I don't know if you're currently watching or if you'll be watching a little bit later, but. Uh, you just released a new fragrance. It's called Evergreen Dream, and I don't know if you guys have had a chance to get your nose on this or what your thoughts are on this one. But it's his, I guess, interpretation of what, in, like, in dreaming in an evergreen forest would be like. I think, um, in theory, it sounds really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think the name is awesome, and I've, I've been really looking for uh, an, an evergreen coniferous fragrance, just because I am in, in uh, Canada. So yeah. Do you like our evergreen trees? And winter's coming. Um, <laughs> Game of Thrones. And <laughs> I think it'd be nice to smell like a Christmas tree forest. Oh yeah. You know. So yeah, sounds sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. How about you, Timmy? Do you sound interesting to you? I don't know. I haven't tried any of Daniel Gallagher's fragrances, so I don't know his style at all. I don't know how he makes his stuff, and I I don't know. So I really, I mean, coniferous. Fragrances are typically like you know uh, not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Mm. Yeah. So he actually sent me a bottle of it. I got it in a couple days ago, yesterday or the day before, and um, he wrote me a little note saying it may not be my cup of tea. And it's that 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 opening is pretty out there for me. Um, it, it dries down nicer. It is a lot of lavender and a lot of pine, but it has. A uh, very interesting note underneath. I'm not can't really not sure what it is, but it just throws it off a little bit for me. It's maybe it's the oak moss, or I'm not sure, but uh, definitely not my style. I think it's very mature. So if you like more mature scents, and it does have a kind of a piney, really really sharp lavender in there. So I th I think it's nice, but I still like uh, 
bergamot a lot better, much more my speed. His bottles are really nice too, and the juice is very, very dark. And, and I can tell you, it did last a long time too, so performance, no no issue there. Does, uh, does Evergreen Dream give you an, an old school vibe at all? Yes, definitely. Um, it smells to me something like almost 80s. Like I wouldn't even go 90s, make you know, mid-80s mid, mid 80s powerhouse. Um, it, I, I don't want to say dated because that kind of has like a bad connotation, but it smells much more at home on someone of, you know, 30 Smelly. plus years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> un, yeah. Mr. Smelly, sure. Yeah. Um, so if you guys are interested in maybe checking that one out, I would say sample that one. I know he's growing very, very quickly and um, I think he has samples as well. So cool. cool. And if we had one more release or unless you guys had any other releases that were catching your attention, but I had a, we briefly touched up on this last week, Valentino Uomo Noir Absolute. There's a uh, femme oh. version and a masculine version. Okay. And looking out for Granica, it looks pretty nice. You know, the Valentino Uomo Intense was a really, really big hit. So I'm trying to see what they're going to do with, with this Absolute version. I think it's going to be similar to like, you know, like an Oud Flanker because it's got that black and gold bottle, which so many, you know, these Oud Flankers, they, they have this type of bottle scheme. Yeah. Maybe it'll be like a Tom Ford Noir Extreme mm. Mm -hmm. variation yeah. of that same color this, scheme. And there's the Femme in the masculine version too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say so the bottles look really nice though. It's like, looks like the Valentino one one tenths bottle, but it's kind of like squared, squared off a little bit at the top and it's got the gold. It looks, looks really good. And mm -hmm. cool. There's also another release that has the same color scheme too, and that's the Aqua Di Gio Profumo Special Edition. What? Yeah. The special one. Yeah, I don't know if that has. Uh, I don't know if that's just like a special bottle, or is it a different fragrance? From what I heard, it is different fragrance. Uh, oh. Slightly. It's. I think. I think it. Based on what I've seen, it it does take it into a more darker direction because with Profumo, it's still fairly versatile where you can use it in the day, but this new version, mm -hmm. I think it. From what I heard, is more catered to an evening. <laughs> I'm gonna drop the link into the chat to yeah. that Aquadito uh, Perfumo special blend in, in the in the. Oh no, apparently. I can't put links there. Okay, apparently. Apparently, it's similar to Secretions Magnifique. <laughs> <laughs> Someone put that in there, and of course, Aventus is in there. Aventus mm -hmm. for her is in there too, for some reason. Um, but yeah, actually, a subscriber I think commented this in my video, and you know, he's asking for my opinion on her. Maybe it was on Instagram or something like that, but. Mm -hmm. At first, I didn't know what they were talking about because I hadn't heard of it. But it I is released now in um, Germany, is what I've oh. heard. Um, I don't think it's going to be in the states like anytime soon. Germany always gets the good stuff, it's not that. <laughs> Crazy because America, we have quite a big market to think yeah. they release the same time and in Europe and in the U.S. I guess not. Yeah, I mean this is very popular in, in this here in the states or, too. Or maybe they like they want to test the market first mm -hmm. and then see if it works for them. That bottle though. Whew. Mm -hmm. Like that bottle does so look good. really good. I like, I, I like the bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, those are pretty much the. Oh, there's another one. Um, MOS yeah. Beach Hut Man. Yes. Beach yep. Hut Man. Yeah. That sounds dope. I, I can't yeah. wait to try it. I saw the review that uh, Carlos and Steven did on that. They are always so fast. Oh, yeah. Like, getting like new releases. This is insane. <laughs> But yeah, awesome. I mean, they, they did a really good review on it. It sounds really nice. Um, We're all moving to New York. <laughs> yeah, New York, right? You get the good stuff. I'm trying to look it up. I think they said it had like orange blossom and maybe amber green or I'm trying to find the notes. Apparently, the orange blossom is like not too apparent. But long story short, it's it's one of their more accessible offerings, and it's uh, almost as versatile as Reflection Man. It's, yeah. So. Yeah, because. Um, yeah. They were saying it was like in the same sort of vein, you know, as in terms of ease of wear, which is it's which is great because a lot of their scents are very dark and very, I think, hard to wear for a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, except in Chilud Man. <laughs> Chilud Man is the easiest one to yeah. wear. <laughs> Summer high heat, hundred degrees, perfect for that. Mm -hmm. oh, Close encounter with the girl. Definitely. <laughs> Make sure you go more. The more sprays, the better with that one. <laughs> Yeah. So people are actually gonna get like mixed messages. They're gonna come back to us later. It's like it didn't work, guys. She was she passed out. <laughs> she passed out. You said Journeyman was an amazing gym set. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Cool. So a lot of new releases in the community. I like how I think the second half of 2017 is gonna be bigger than the first half for releases because we didn't get a whole lot in the first half, to be honest. So maybe yeah. you know with like events or 
of as Viking coming out from from Cree. Maybe that will sort of kickstart this huge new just amount of releases coming out, which would be awesome. Cool. So if you guys had any more releases in the comments, uh, we'll be trying to answer them the best we can just through typing and stuff like that. But let's get into our next section, cruising right along here. And this is going to be our little, normally we play like a game. Sometimes it will be a would you rather question game or, you know, some sort of variation of that. But this time around, we are actually going to be a, giving our personal thoughts on four fragrance community related questions. So I think this will be pretty interesting. Yep. Sharing some dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Not>. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> so we haven't really talked about this topic too much, but these are just some sort of fun, lighthearted questions of um, kind of some stuff that we would like to see or just, mm -hmm. uh, it will be interesting. So let's actually get into the first one. And this first one is, collaborations we would most like to see in the community. So it could be two reviewers or a group. So who do you want to most see do a video in the community together? Like whether it be their personalities that match or something like that. So mm. who wants to go first? Uh, maybe Lex, Alice, and Cuba. Oh my gosh. Whoa. I don't know if I had that for could handle <laughs> that. Be, yeah, that's a lot of swearing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that would have to be Ready age restricted, go. probably. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I feel like they got interesting chemistry, maybe, we would say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dang. What about you, Timmy? What do you think? Um, what collaboration I'd like to see the most, huh? You know, actually, I think it would be kind of cool to see Jeremy collaborate with like a, a female reviewer, like maybe Tiff mm. Benson and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Definitely. Sounds like be, fun. Yeah. As someone in the comments said, uh, team top five in Jeremy Records. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That would be lit. That would that, shoot him a message. <laughs> yeah, that's what we are all, sh all shooting for right here. Um, let's see. For me, I, I mean, there are a lot of different combinations, I think. Uh, there's, you know, so many people that haven't, collaborate together. But one of them I think would be uh, Dan from uh, My Mickers. I think he's great. He's got a lot of energy into his mm -hmm. reviews. I like his enthusiasm and his palette. I think him, and I'm not sure if Steven, has, they've done a review together, but um, from Red Lessons, I'd really like to see them to do a review together because I think it'll be cool with um, Steven's more objective style of reviewing, his knowledge and his um, just great, you know, What's what I'm looking for? Just his use of words, you know, and how he can just pick apart a scent exactly. And then, of course, Dan with his energy and his love of these dark scents. I think that'd be a very interesting combo if they were to, like maybe he'll bring out another side of Steven we haven't seen yet. Exactly. Yeah, he, it could be a little yeah. So I think that'd be a pretty Steven. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. cool I also want to see right a drunk Cascade scent review. Mm. Is it every <laughs> review? <you> no. <know? laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious. You should post that. <laughs> Damn. Oh, we got one. Us. Uh, you want Forever Fragrant Kid said, I, I want to see Brad and George. Well, there may be that coming in the future. Not saying that explicitly, Ooh. but possibly a collab drop. It, would, it, would, it, would be, it, would, it wouldn't be a fragrance review, it would be a movie. A movie. <laughs> it would just be a straight movie. It would just be a movie. Two hours long. <laughs> Film directed, yeah. So there may be some of that coming in the Call future. My fragrance and I. <laughs> my fragrance. <laughs> my fragrance. <laughs> nice. You should sign that right now. This this could be big. You want to jump on that opportunity? <laughs> oh, you can. Yeah, seriously. Cool. So, and any of those reviewers watching, I think we'd really like to see you all collaborate. I think that would be awesome. So. Mm -hmm. Jay Royal and PewDiePie. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Jay Royal and PewDiePie. <laughs> Damn, very good. <laughs> well, so we have another little spin-off question, sort of, um, of very similar to that one. Uh, how about a reviewer you personally would most like to c collaborate with? If you could somehow collaborate with any reviewer that you wanted in the community, which uh, would you choose and why? And this isn't meant to be like discriminatory against any other reviewers, just which one have you really been wanting to review with, with for a long time for whatever reason? I feel like we should we can like um we can put Jeremy Fragrance out, out as the, as an option because I think we all would oh, love to collab. Yeah, yeah. yeah, So what it's what if like besides Jeremy Fragrance, who else would we want to collab with? Mm. That's a good 
question. I think I see because all of our answers yeah. must be right. Yeah, let's start from scratch, pretty much. <laughs> Hmm. Everyone! Everyone! <laughs> Let's do a massive collab video. Uh, oh man, massive meetup? Who would that be sick? Oh my gosh. Has there, it, yeah, there haven't been too many of those. I'm about to look up my subscriptions on YouTube just to give me some, some thoughts <laughs> right here. Need to refresh uh, my memory real quick. Me and Jake Paul. Jake Paul. <laughs> oh no, who, who said that? TM said <laughs> uh, I am banning you. <laughs> England is my <laughs> Jake Paul, man. Not Jake. I maybe could do Logan Paul. I'm not sure about Jake. Not saying yeah, I love to collaborate with Logan Paul. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. You guys have anybody you'd like to collab with? I'm looking um, right now. Let's think. I mean, the people that I you know have collabed with already are pretty cool, but I guess you know there's one missing. Freaking Bradley! Hey! hey. <laughs> oh, as soon as this this channel goes up, we will be doing all sorts a lot of collabs, of like just every which direction, every combination you can possibly imagine. So you will have time, and I'm I'm definitely looking forward to it, James. It's going to be a fun time, no doubt. Uh, for me, I think maybe E from Simply Put Sense. Yeah. Uh, oh. I know he does some collabs. I'd like to see him do a few more, and I think that'd be that'd be pretty sick if if ever I go up to New York sometime just to do it in person. I know he likes to vlog, and um, I think that would be pretty awesome to do a review with him up there. So that would be my pick. Of course, there are so many others that I could choose, but yeah. He's a really cool guy, too. Um, we see him in person. He's, he's awesome. Lovely yeah. collab. Um, cool. For me, I actually have never collabed with Manny. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Dude, nah, like it's, somehow it's been a long time coming. So I'm looking forward to this Canada trip, so I can actually go mm -hmm. collab with Manny. So yeah, that'll be my choice. That'll yeah. be my choice. Nice. I'm looking Asians. forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's so. We got lots of collabs, and these should be really fun to do. And uh, hopefully, we can get some more uh, collabs going in the community because I think I enjoy watching them in person. I think that they're really cool to see how. The chemistry is with the Styles people. Mesh, yeah. Yep. Cool. So we got two more questions, and this one is a kind of an interesting, cool one. So, like, what is your fragrance fantasy day, if that makes sense? So, like, what's your like fragrance wet dream? Like, what's your um? <laughs> yeah, that's the way I wanted to put it. Like, if you could have any, if you could go anywhere and smell all these scents, or like, what's your ideal perfect day related to fragrances? So, Ooh. lots South of, of imagination. Yes. Yep. Oh my god, my favorite place on the planet. I just I would spend so much money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Monaco, Nice, like just walk along the water and just wow. go to all these crazy expensive boutiques. It's yeah, it's amazing. Nice. I mean that's the place where they charge sixty dollar for a water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Those tourist prices, you know. Of course. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Timmy? What what gets you uh, aroused in the fragrance? <laughs> aroused. <laughs> oh, uh, I dream of I get a hard on every night for uh, Dubai airports. <laughs> Dubai airports. <laughs> That's where it's at. <laughs> I actually want to go there because they see like I just want to go to Dubai, man. It seems like there's so much there to smell, and I don't think go to I can get them all is at one in one trip. <laughs> Qatar is the the slightly cheaper Dubai. Okay, <laughs> so I'm actually planning a Dubai trip. Actually, like maybe in June or July of next year, like next hey. summer. Going like, everywhere, Dubai. Okay, you have, to, have to travel while we're young. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, that sounds that sounds awesome. Like I'm torn between you know the going to Dubai and having that whole Middle Eastern fragrance experience, which I think will be awesome. You know, with with the oud over there and how uh, just loud and like all their crazy fragrances, but. For me, uh, James, I'm definitely on board with you. Like just touring, just Europe in general, especially going through France and Italy, and just seeing how they make these, you know, things handmade and like uh, these cool niche places, and uh, just taking a trip. And you know, uh, I'm not sure if I could do it all all in one day, but I would just love to, you know, go into Paris and just all these boutiques and just smell to my nose can't smell anymore, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, and you guys uh, also in the comments, make sure to tell us what is your fragrance fantasy. What's your fragrance fantasy? Like dreams, guys. Yeah, <laughs> bathing in eleven Z O one. Yeah, bathing in it. Spill the beans. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Winning a gallon of C O one events is 
<laughs> or as we say, Z01. Z01. Sad. Sad. That's how I learned it too when I was in school in Thailand. They taught British English and they said uh, said. But now when I when I came to America and I said said, no, everyone was like, What are you talking about? Oh, Z. Here. Z. Yeah. Crazy Canadian. <laughs> yeah. I've always said Z. I'm not I don't know Z too much. It just sounds weird <laughs> to me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. So if we have one question left, uh, it's going to be, if you could change one thing in the fragrance community, what would it be? And this could be something like if you want to change it for the better or if you want to see, like, what kind of change would you personally make just to make everything be better, if that makes sense? Kind of an interesting question. Uh, yeah, I'll start. Um, now, this, now, this is honestly not a huge deal, um, but it's something that I've noticed, and I might put a video up in the near future. And I do notice that there's a lot of up-and-coming fragrance collectors that you know are showing their collection, and it literally will look like this, or yeah. you know, Blue de Chanel. So there's always a rotation of maybe ten fragrances that everyone seems to buy, uh -huh. just based on you know a lot of reviewers saying, "Oh yeah, these are the best fragrances." So without doing your research, people are just blind buying, you know, a starting lineup of ten. That they don't really have any experience with and then you have all these people with the same collection um but a lot of them you know you know if you haven't spent time with the fragrance then it's not really yours you know what i mean so mm -hmm. i don't know I, I just would encourage everyone to not be like me and blind buy everything really honestly uh do your research man you get samples um don't don't spend more money than you need to and only get fragrances that you really really do like you know, because I I've gone th gone through a lot of bottles where I flipped them, because a reviewer said this is their number one on their list, so I just picked it up. Um, but it turned out it wasn't for me because it is a very subjective thing. You know, it's an, it's it's art, it's art, right? And it's it's yeah. it's up to, for interpretation. So, so yeah, I think as reviewers especially, it's our job to really hammer that home and be like, this is my list, man. Um, don't don't copy my collection. <laughs> Like a yeah. certain someone who who I know, yeah. <laughs> but out of, he's my protege, but, um, but yeah, he'll 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 always ask me like, what's so what are you what are you wearing these days? And then the next day he has it, you know. So just be an individual. Yeah. I think in general, you know, do your own thing, mm -hmm. for real. It's so, definitely a good point. I mean, there are so many scents out there too. There's like thousands upon thousands, and yeah, I mean, there are some that get more press than others for obvious reasons and you know and but again yeah having that you originality and just of, of your collection because your i think your collection should reflect you and your personality sure it's cool to have a couple you know very versatile ones that everybody has but i think by and large you should have a lot of stuff that you really personally like and you know i know for a fact i have some that i just bought off the hype and that are still sitting here but i don't really like them as much as some that i have you know just randomly found by chance so i think that's a really good point that you brought up there mm -hmm. Cool. What about you, Timmy? Um, touching on James' point, like I do, I do see how like blind buying is definitely a huge problem in the fragrance community. Sometimes, like they watch like um, like our top tens, mm -hmm. and like if they see Sabash on there three times, like okay, I'm gonna get that. You know, like they really should test the fragrance first. But and on on a, on another hand, it is it is quite tough to, um, to actually like test the fragrance sometimes or sometimes it's just too lazy to you know getting yeah. a sample of sephora only lasts you so long <laughs> yeah. yeah you know so you would just like to like smell it and then buy it right away you know this goes for smell it buy it right so I, I see how they can like um collect um collect those 10 bottles up really quickly like they smelled mm -hmm. it they liked it they buy it um yeah that's good though. I mean, there's a difference between smelling it out of the bottle and then buying it versus strictly going off of the reviews, going off of Garantica, mm -hmm. finding the 4.4s out of five, mm -hmm. and just getting them. Especially when you talk about niche fragrances. Yeah. And yeah. I'm a total hypocrite, honestly, because I, <laughs> I, See, I, like, I still do this, but I, I did a lot more before. We're all guilty of blind buys as as, yeah. as reviewers too. Sometimes, like we can't get our hand on a fragrance, we blind buy it. You know, <laughs> where I think we're all works, guilty cross. on there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like the point is, like to okay, yeah, like you said, not to blind buy. Actually, test them out first. Even if you go to Sephora and like smell it off the cap, you know, at least smell it first. See if you you're gonna like it yeah. before you buy it. 
for me, what I really want to change about the fragrance um, community, I thought I thought a lot about this, and there's not a lot that I would really want to change. Uh, <laughs> I guess I be more accepting. Like I want the maybe like the more older generation fragrance people to be a little bit more accepting of the newer people sometimes because I do see that 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 um that that fine line that separates the old folks and the new folks. Sometimes, like someone new could be posting a picture of Savage, and a lot of people will say, "Oh, it's crap. It's just your collection stuff, stuff like that." Yeah, I'm like, you know, they're new. What, it, what, you know, and they have their own taste right now. It will develop later. Just be a little bit more accepting if you're like, you know, a veteran collecting. I know, like lean, you. lean more towards helping each other like develop taste, not bashing. Like, that's one thing like I don't like to see at all. And uh, it sucks that it's not really in my power to like change any of that because the fragrance community has been around way longer than I've been around. Mm -hmm. So not it's not in my power to change any of that. That's that's sad, but I really would like to see that change. Yeah, it, you know what? Um, I I totally agree. And uh, unfortunately, with all communities, there's it's it's a community. So there's a lot yeah. of mm -hmm. facets. There's a lot of aspects. There's a lot of different personalities. Um, but you're right. You know, you, you nailed it on the head because um, there's there's people that that think that they have a well, they do have a superiority complex because of the length of their stay in the fragrance community, mm -hmm. the quote unquote OGs. Um, not only, and I'm only talking about a, you know a select few people um, that that think that because you know a certain person has only started collecting that they have no say. Their points are invalid. Mm. Oh, Timmy, what's that? You got a little drink. There. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Things are about to get Whoa, good now. That's actually good. <laughs> Thanks. Is that almost, is that almost, almost um, not as sweet, though. Yeah, I put the point thing. Things are about to get lit now. Oh, hey, guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Turn down for what? Yeah, right. Hey, you got that. My point is, um, is just, yeah, I mean, everyone love everyone. This community has mm -hmm. so much positivity. Mm -hmm. It has it's based on sharing, swapping, exchanging information, mm -hmm. exchanging, you know, experiences with different fragrances. So mm -hmm. just keep that going. You know, keep keep that positivity one going. Thing, one thing to really understand, like um, it's for everyone to really understand is that everyone taste is different. Like the so being respectful of someone's taste is really, really important. Even though, like, if someone likes all designers all the time, they don't really like niche. You know, be respectful of that. You know, maybe they just don't like niche. It's not, it's not because they're like, oh, he's, he doesn't have good taste stuff like that. No, he has his own good taste. That's good to him. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> just being re being respectful in general. I think it's a general like thing to remember all the time. Yeah, definitely. And like, I mean, those are all great points. And I don't know if it's just for me, but I feel like just in this past year. Uh, there's been a huge influx of uh, new re reviewers that have come into the community, which I think is great. And it's it's it. <laughs> yeah, it's always cool to see um, how much the community is growing day by day and how much it's outreaching. And I think that's an that's an awesome thing. Um, and then we have a lot going for us in the fragrance community as it is right now. I mean, there's so many great things, new opportunities are happening. Uh, I feel like companies, and this is something that I would have said maybe a year or two ago. I would like to change from now. It is kind of changing already is that um, companies are starting to realize that YouTube is a fairly big platform for them. And it's technically free advertising because we can make reviews and they don't have to pay us for it necessarily. Mm -hmm. um, and now they're actually starting to realize and maybe I know a lot of more reviewers are getting sent free bottles, free samples to review. And I just think it's cool how they're starting to maybe notice us a little bit more. But for me, like one thing that I would, uh, like to see more of and I think it's just starting up a little bit as well is more like sort of fragrance conventions where a bunch of reviewers can go and meet up. I know we have one uh, called Sense which I think Carlos, Max Forty, um, was it Vava Couture or was it uh, Tiff Benson? Vava Couture. Okay. Oh, Tiff Benson, Tiff Benson um, did you say Max Forty already? Yep and then Carlos and Steven Carlos so that's four. Steven. Yep. And they held that, I think, back in July in New York City. And I believe they have another one coming up. But I think that's a really cool idea. We just need to get more of these. And all around the country, because I know a lot of people like on the West Coast couldn't fly all the way over. But if we could just have many different... You can tell five oh. um, convention at B2018. Exactly. <laughs> like, I think that would be so cool just to you know have it be sponsored by some sort of brand. And it's an opportunity for 
you know, these fragrance brands to maybe show off their new offerings and um, just to learn about stuff. You can have, you know, not really lectures, but kind of conversations. You can meet a bunch of people that have your similar interests and it kind of gives maybe more uh, newer reviewers in the community a chance to sort of meet some of the uh, more experienced re reviewers in person and you can just learn. I think it's just a very cool networking thing to just meet up in person. Um, but I would love to see more conventions slowly start to sprout up in time and I, th I think it will too. The, the more I think about it, I think like um, this is a, I don't know if this is off topic, but we should, this is team top five, like we always plan something big. I don't know guys, like since we're talking about this topic now, this might be the goal for the future, like for team top five to be able to have our own kind of convention. Yeah. In the future. Like, <laughs> in that's Toronto. Like the Toronto, yeah. I'm pretty close there. Right? Say, yeah. <laughs> Toronto, oh, fuck, I have to fly. <laughs> I'll be there for you guys if you guys go. <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, there's so many different facets to this question and uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of great feedback in the comments too of what, what you guys would change. And I think as it sits right now, it's a pretty darn good community, I would say. I mean, yeah, it's, I, I like the community awesome. right now too. I yes. think with the influx of new people, it makes the community like even more like first, like versatile. Yeah. More, more, more opinions. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I like to see it grow. Yeah. And like, I don't know if it's just me, but you know, when you're explaining to let's say a friend or who has never heard of the fragrance community has never heard, you know, you tell them about your channel, they're like, well, there's a community for this. I never knew. And it's, you know, just to see there. And like, once you first show it to them and they just kind of discover that there's this whole community. And I, I think that's, that's cool to do that. Um, all right. So that wraps up those questions. Uh, we could maybe do, a few questions that you guys have for us in the comments. Um, Let's do some questions. We only killed I, uh, like thirty minutes so far. I, think. <laughs> I, I picked up a few from the from the chat. Cool. Uh, there's there's two uh, this or that, uh, that from the beginning. A Millicent Imperial or a Green Irish Tweed. <laughs> this is the first one. Wow. Mm. Uh, I go Millicent. You go Millicent Imperial. Okay. Millicent. <laughs> what? Easy, Easy money, Millicent. Yeah. Cause there's, no, there's no clone of Millicene that smell as good as Millicene. Sorry, Sean John. John <laughs> Sorry. You don't cut it. Ed Hardy, so, you don't cut it. So like, are we talking about which one we'd rather own or which one we like better? Because those are like two different. I things. guess which one is uh, more worth getting uh, based would, on Danny's opinion? Man, it's close. It's like, seriously, Millicene Imperial, the opening is breathtaking. Like, this smells much better to me than Green Irish Tweed. More original, more unique. But I think it's you know only for summer, usually only for casuals. So if I'm honest, I think Green Irish Tweed is a little bit more worth owning. And if you guys already knew I was going to say that, but I don't, I don't know. It just to me strikes me more versatile all year long. And yeah, so GIT for me. <laughs> well, uh, I, I think predictable honestly, with, with Green Irish Tweed, like man. I don't know. Train Nui is pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it is, and and honestly, so is Cool Water. A Cool Water is different. Like, it has a similar vibe to it, but it's way more aquatic and doesn't have much of the greenness. But Train Nui kind of brings that in. And as we all know, our moth, their openings are a bit tragic. But mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's ten minutes. So you just you just let that pass, and then for the price for the value. I think I well I just I think Train Nui is a closer clone than Unforgivable is to Melissa. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's why Melissa I think is a better pickup for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's definitely I mean they're both solid. I mean, <laughs> there's no denying it. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. The other one I saw was CH Man or CH Man Privé. Ooh. Ooh. CH Man Privé for me. I mean, well, yeah, because it's been reforming CH Man I know it's been reformed later. I'd, I, I hear that the performance isn't what it used to be. I mean, it wasn't great in the first place necessarily. Yeah. Um, but I think CH Man Privé is definitely the better scent. Uh, they're they're pretty close, but if I had to choose one, it would be Privé easily. Yeah. I would pick Privé also. Like I smelled the original CH Man, I was like, I feel like I would get more use off of Privé. Like I know exactly when I would use Privé. Um, the original CH Man, like. It is is more versatile in my opinion, but like I have other signature scent that I think beats CH Man. 
but with CHMN Privé, like for date nights and stuff like that, I feel like okay, that's one of the more perfect scents to use oh, yeah. on date nights. So I would use that a lot. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you guys, man. Um, I had the reformulated CH Man. I now have the Red Ribbon CH Man, mm -hmm. and I notice almost no difference uh, between the two in regards to the performance. The scent is a bit, uh, it's a bit richer now, but um, performance-wise, it's you know pretty similar. It's kind of I'd rather reach for uh, the one EDP uh, yeah. for for the same circumstances. So. Like a nice kind of light, lighter date situation, um, mm -hmm. you know. I would do that, and then for for a real date, like maybe in the winter, Privé is a killer. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's 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 unique. It's you know, um, it's rich. Lanouit. Well, <laughs> but I'm not reaching for Lanouit on date. Yeah, because <laughs> that's number one. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean they're both they're both great. I think it's cool how how much of a uh, of a deviation, Carolyn Herrera did from the regular to the Privé. Oh yeah. It's usually, mm -hmm. sometimes, the, most of the time, the Privé version will be similar, but maybe a little more mm -hmm. tonka heavy or something. But mm -hmm. no, it, it's it's totally different fragrance, and uh, mm -hmm. the flask really matches the boozy vibe too, which is cool. Kind of glad they did that. <laughs> yeah. Make a totally different fragrance. Yeah. Well, while we're on that topic, what's the best like flanker of an original fragrance in your guys' opinion? Oh, kind of a loaded question. Flanker. Yeah, I mean, it's on the spot. It's hard to answer because there's so many <laughs> like really good. That flankers. is. Um, like, for me, right off the top of my head, I mean, just because I have them in reach right here, probably CH Privé again because it's a really, really good take on the flanker. And then One Million Privé, very good take on uh, One Million. Ten times better than One Million. Um, mm. It's awesome. But for me. For me, I would have to say Aqua Di Profumo. Mm. That's the, the, one of the best things. Because how, how can you, imp like, Aqua Di was a masterpiece. And to yeah. improve on that masterpiece is not an easy task to do. Not at all. And it, they, they accomplished it. Now it's even better than before. Which it is took insane. them 20 years, right? Yeah, it <laughs> took them a while. Yeah. But like, there not a lot of fragrance houses can say that, you know, that the, the newer release is, it took over the old one. Mm. Mine. Has got to be Dior en Parfum. Dior en Parfum. Dior en Parfum because uh, the whole Dior en line, it's pretty metro. It's a bit effeminate. Yeah. It's still masculine, but it leans, you know, to the more metro guy. So Dior was a, a genius and made an exclusively manly version of the fragrance while still having that character to it. Mm -hmm. And man, this is. Such a beast in the performance, like yeah, too like much. This is, this is honestly one of the most. This is probably like, <laughs> for designers, it's like, like best performing fragrance I have. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a monster, and I just can't wait for it to get, to get cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I mean, you guys are probably getting cold up in Canada pretty soon, I would imagine, right? Oh, we've been cold, cold, bro. Been cold. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that's really. I got to wear uh, wear Must Ravageur the other night. That's how cold Ooh. it was. That's pretty good. <laughs> but it's only one spray. <laughs> Still. Yeah. Like, the darkest I've gone is, I don't even know, like, I think uh, Noir Exquise from Artisan, maybe, but that's about it. Like, yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh, we got a question just came in. Do any of you guys plan on buying Creed Viking or not worth the money? Well. Who already bought well, Creek Viking here? <laughs> right here, guys. Right here. Of course. Hey, hey. So, guys, let me, let, let me um, defend myself before everyone starts saying to me, you wasted money. Uh, <laughs> I can see myself wearing that on the daily in the fall and winter time. That's one of the main reasons I bought it because I smelled it and I was like, I'm, I would use this so often. And plus, it, got, it gets good compliments. I see like it. Ampi long in the comments. He was with me the day I bought it, and like, yeah, I have to tell you guys the story later. Maybe not in this stream. I don't want to waste that time. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, we have quite a few questions still. Um, I think. Oh, um, I don't know if you guys have talked about this in previous streams, but favorite perfume. Mm. Jean Claude Alana. Dude, <laughs> I was just about to say, yeah. JCE. 
<laughs> yeah. Man right there. Uh, yeah, he, he, he holds it down for Hermes, not only, but just his work in general. I don't think I've, well, I shouldn't say that. There are a couple that I just don't like from him, but for the most part, you know, I really enjoy his take. Very unique um, and just how his sense can really bring up emotions in you. I think it's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. What about you guys? I agree. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that's that's yours too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm the only one. Am I the only one who don't enjoy like John Claude Elena's work? Everyone else uh, seems to enjoy like Ash. Yeah. Ashen loves. Him. Yeah. Mandy loves John Claude Elena. Eve from Simply Present loves. John Claude Start Elena. off with this. Get yourself a bottle of Un Jardin Sterling if you yeah. haven't smelled it. The Un Jardin mm. line is actually the best line that I, that that's I so actually good. enjoy. But yeah. the other stuff, not so much. I don't know. I just um, I enjoyed that line a lot. Yeah. But I wouldn't say he's my favorite um, perfumer. My favorite perfumer is still is still Christine Michelle. It's TM Sensor. Timmy, preach it. He knows it. <laughs> Christine Michelle from Alice to Meet York. I feel like she's just very creative and her fragrances show very um, a lot of uniquity, like uniqueness. You smell her stuff. I seriously, like um, 100% would bet on that you never smell anything like her, her stuff before. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, that's what I love about her stuff. I, I don't really like the pricing. That's the only thing I don't like. But the pricing is, is kind of high. Uniquity. I'm, I'm Asian. <laughs> yeah. I'm Asian. <laughs> Hashtag lol, lol with an A. <laughs> lol, lol. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my favorite perfumer. Nice. All good. Yeah, I, I saw one um, pretty recently. It was uh, what fragrance would James Bond wear? And I'd I think someone said he wears florists, but like in your own mind, what do you think he should wear? He's so confident he'll wear interlude men still get girls. <laughs> Easily, no problem. <laughs> he'll wear horse manure and still get girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For me, um, like here's a bit. Yeah. Go ahead. I think he'll wear like what he wore in the movie. Uh tobacco vanille. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Definitely. Actually I think he would wear also a Tom Four, but I always saw him, or I feel like James Bond. Any, and anyway, whenever I wear um, Tom Ford Noir Eau de Parfum, that mm -hmm. black bottle, the uh, it has rose. It's very dark and yet kind of mysterious at the same time. I think that's what you would wear for me. I think or there has to be like a martini-based fragrance. Oh, yeah. a little bit of olive they, in there. Like, yeah. Change the Tom Ford private blend to a James Bond private blend, and I, believe, <laughs> I think you would wear every single one of that. Depends on the situation. Yeah. Doesn't he have like own? I swear, aren't there James Bond 007 cents I've seen yeah. somewhere? Yeah, it's, it's it's a clone of Lana Wee the Lone. Really? Yeah, it's like a cardamom lavender. <laughs> box. I used to own it. That's that's how oh, I know. Oh man, it smells really good. It smells really? super good. Uh, not, but it smells like really similar to Lana Wee. I don't know if, if if it performs better or not. I haven't had it in a long time. I sold it a long time a long yeah. ago. Yeah. Dang. Um, I have a couple more, Brad. All right. If you want, um, what uh, what do your friends and family think about your fragrance hobby? Have you ever had Ooh. negative feedback because of the fragrances you collect? Negative. Uh, not really. I mean, for me, like at first, I was just like got into it a little bit too much, just started buying too many things, and then I had to take a step back and you know. Once people kind of hear how many you have, they're, they're like, whoa, you know, that's kind of a lot. But at the same time, I have some other friends that I really have actually turned on, or turned into frag heads kind of them, themselves. And now, you know, they buy all these things through Scentbird. And now they have, like, you know, they only used to have one or two. And now they have, like, 10 or 12 things to me. So it kind of goes both ways. But I think in general, um, a lot of people just don't really know what it is. You know, they're, like I said earlier, they're not sure. They don't know what the fragrance community is because um, it hasn't really spread that far out yet. They probably but, smell bad too. Yeah, right. Exactly. See, we will always smell good for the most part. That's uh, um, that's something good. And yeah, like it's actually come up for me a couple of times where someone has asked me what I'm wearing, and then that has kind of you know kickstarted me into that conversation a little bit. So yeah, I mean, I think for the most part, it's relatively positive feedback, and people are just very interested to see or and kind of figure out this community that we have here. Yeah. What about you guys? For me, it's I, um, it's definitely people. Um, I have to kind of explain that 
there's there's a there's a nerdy subculture for anything. Yeah, of course. You know, and people wouldn't think colognes or fragrances would be there would be something like that, but there is. Mm -hmm. And um, so normally people don't really care, and then sometimes you know, a, a bot, like a picture of my collection will leak onto the internet, and then <laughs> people are like, "Whoa, that's that's a lot, man." Yeah. And then I'd say, "Yeah, but I don't collect shoes." Don't drink. Don't do drugs. Yeah. Like I don't spend my money on on all that. So, I spend some on something that I you know I really enjoy and I'm passionate about. And my Good smelling uh, drugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my family always tells me they're like, whenever we come over, like keep your door open because whenever you spray your fragrance, it like fills the house and it smells awesome. So. <laughs> yeah. I say drugs like I'm actually a frag junkie now. You see this? This is Ooh. my decanting. What so. batch is that, dude? <laughs> I feel like I'm shooting up, you know. So. Instead of wearing it, Brad shoots it up his I, 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 I shoot it in my veins. So it just projects off every part of his body. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's more clean, Don't you know. Don't do that, kids. <laughs> do I, th that. I think to the, to the Fragcom, if anyone ever gives you crap about collecting fragrances, just get all alpha on them and be like, Bro, you don't know me, dude. That's no good. <laughs> you don't know this. Life. You don't know this frag life. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't be ashamed, man. Like, yeah, I, I think I think it's. It's more. It's important that more now more than ever to embrace who you are, what you're passionate yeah. about. Don't hide behind closed doors. Like I'll I'll admit, you know, on first dates to this, to girls that I'll say that I play World of Warcraft sometimes. <laughs> you know, I'm not ashamed of who I am, and and neither should you guys, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> the only um, negative um, thing I ever gotten from people uh, is from my dad, because my dad. Uh, you know, he's one of those old school Asian, and he he's he doesn't agree with me spending so much money, especially on fragrances, because to him he sees it as like, what's the point of them? You know, you could be saving for this, you could be saving for college, you could be doing this and that. So he never he never really understood me, you and be, I think you that's that's saving and then you die. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's understandable because you know from his his background and everything. So I don't blame him for any of that. But um, yeah. after I started reviewing and after like you know. He sees me working hard on videos and stuff like that. He starts to um, kind of tone down on like the negativity about my collection. Yeah, I think that was support my channel. Yeah, there. and like, and I know people who collect all different types of things. I think everybody, you know, that I know anyway, has something that they collect. Like, I have a friend at work who he, he collects knives, guns, and all those types of things. He has like over a hundred different pocket knives, and like, we're all kind of have that crazy, you know, person inside of us that loves to collect things, and we just happen to be crazy about. Fragrances, so I th I, it's no different from anything else. Um, except that fragrances are ex exceptionally more expensive than everything yes, else. Yes, <laughs> it could be, yeah. You can, you can collect I, I, knives, that's not that expensive. Yeah. I have a quick story about uh, collections and whatnot. So um, one of my first fragrances that I, that I got for myself um, was about 13 years ago, my first job, and it was uh, AC Miyake. Lotus A. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it was my buddy at work who had it. And then he introduced me later on to Armani Code. So I had like my day and my nighttime or whatever. And this guy, like I, I saw him the other day and I was like, hey man, like I'm into fragrances now. <laughs> I collect them. And he's like, oh, I collect toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> toothpaste. He, he collects like different boxes of toothpaste and he has like hundreds of them. Okay. So I was hoping to like bond with him over fragrances, and then instead he's like, "No, nah, man, I'm done with fragrances. Toothpaste. I'm getting toothpaste now." Onto that toothpaste <laughs> game. How you know? nice do you want your breath to smell? And what kind of <laughs> India you want? You want Colgate this, batch? You want Listerine? I got every. I got discontinued Listerine right here. This is that orange flavor? <laughs> that good, good stuff. Vintage Listerine. Vintage. <laughs> this is 1602 batch. His teeth are very white, but he has a huge gap in them. So. <laughs> hey. It's awesome. <laughs> um, cool. Let's see. So yeah. I have, I have, I have two more. If you, if All right. Uh, I wonder if there's like a toothpaste community. There has to. Dude, be. I'm, I'm, I'm about to look it up right now. It's like, it's like prawn. There's, there's like all kinds. <laughs> Top ten most complimented toothpaste. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, Colgate comes in number two. Okay. So oh, like Crest <laughs> number one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Okay, how about this question, guys? What is the most underrated fragrance in your collection that doesn't get enough talk? Man. So many niche fragrances. <laughs> right. so many options. All the niche. <laughs> All the niche fragrances. Yeah. 
the most underrated. Oh man, to me, I would have to, like one of the one of them that got me probably the, the best reaction and most underrated fragrance. Probably has to be um, Moringa by Perfume and Roma. Hmm. I think it's not talked a lot because you can't really find it in many places. Only in like New York, Oswald. Yeah. But it's a really good scent. Projects really strong. Uh, one of the strongest scent that I own. Um, I only need two sprays in cold air in Alaska, so that's saying something about the strength of it. <laughs> uh, it smells fantastic. It, it smells really, really good. I get really good feedback from it, mainly because everyone can smell it. There's no, there's no time that I wear it that people won't smell it off me. They definitely smell it off me every time I wear it. Mm -hmm. So I get really good feedbacks. I've never got negative feedbacks off of it. It's one of my favorite scents of all time too. And for gourmand lovers, you really, really need to try it. If you haven't tried Marenka and you love gourmands, I, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta try it first. Definitely. I, mean, I have one designer, one niche. Uh, designer, this is one of the most unique, fresh scents I've ever tried, CK2. I know people. Say, it does have pretty, not the best performance. I mean, I, I mean it's, a, it's okay, but I almost I know it won't perform that well but man it's that i think it's the auras in here wasabi it has like wet stone and it's crazy but i do get a lot of that i mean this seriously doesn't smell like something that calvin klein would produce it smells like just so out there and but very wearable at the same time it does not get hardly any talk anymore nobody talks about it um and i think it's really really good and then for niche i know this one does kind of get a little bit of talk uh, but i think it should be you know like in everybody's top 10 list uh, it's uh hopped on parfums de marley and Love yeah, that man. stuff. I mean, it's yeah, just amazing. Definitely. That apple, smoky, little bit caramel, saffron, myrrh, uh, amazing. Like, just awesome. It always gets, um, it's always stuck in Awajan's shadow. Yeah, exactly. Those are the two, like, kind of toss up fragrances. The thing but, is, I, I always thought that Hopdan smelled more interesting than Awajan. Mm -hmm. Well, because Awajan's a clone. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, like see, it's kind of sense. Sense. yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, for me, I'll, I'll do that uh, that thing that Brad just did. <laughs> designer. designer niche, yep. So this this my designer it it gets a, a decent amount of talk, but um, Jeremy Fragrance said it was pretty mediocre, so I think that makes it underrated in my opinion. <laughs> Lom Al Team. Hey. You're saying the wrong. Yeah. So good, such a good fragrance, and uh, it's EDP, and the performance is like destroys my other lone flankers, <laughs> um, including Lana Week because I don't have the vintage, my of bad. But this fragrance is, it's the only lone flanker that I can really call super versatile because I wear this in cold, warm weather and it performs and I love it. I've, this is probably one of my signature scents if I didn't have as many as I do. <laughs> <laughs> And then it's kind of hard for us to have a signature scent, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, I don't know if that could even be possible to have a signature scent. A signature scent for us would be a fragrance that we wore like maybe more than twice in a year. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, <laughs> but my niche pick is from the House of Amouage, and it's Memoir Man. Hmm. This is my newest pickup from Amouage, and um, it's it has that incense that makes Amouage awesome, but it's green, so it's really wearable. And this is one of those fragrances that you just can't stop smelling your wrist when you put it on, man. <laughs> it's so nice. And uh, luckily, I do have a Snap Cat Vintage. So, Ooh. but uh, yeah, if you like incense, dude, what are you doing? Not having <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Cool. I mean, yeah, there's so many underrated scents out there. Let's do like one more question and then we can. Uh, go into our next topic and hopefully man should be bouncing on here pretty soon okay so that's a cute question too yeah um i think andy pandy asked this this, this one uh so he's asking just about a vetiver scent uh could be designer or niche that would work actually good in the fall and winter so i know vetiver is kind of like a green grassy note and a lot of times it works great in spring and summer but what about a vetiver for the colder weather that's an interesting one. I know a, I know a good flavor for cold butter, and that's Bois de Portugal by Creed. Mm. Definitely a spicy take on vetiver. I really like it and performs really well 
to you. And if you smell it, you realize, you, you know right away that it's a pretty thick smelling fragrance, spicy, better for thick, rich, very gentlemanly. Um, I never personally, like when I first smelled it, I always thought it was for like an older gentleman. But then the more I wear it, the more I feel like, man, I could, I could actually pull this off too. Like if, it depends on like my composure that day. If I like act more like an adult <laughs> than I usually do, I can pull it off. Yeah. yeah, no, it's just really sophisticated vetiver scent and quite unique too. I don't think I smelled a vetiver scent like Water Portugal. I've loved it ever since the first sniff. I still love it now, and I, I really do recommend it. Nice. I mean, it's 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 hard to find those those types of green grassy vetiver scents for colder weather because they a lot of times they just won't perform or they just don't really smell like they're they belong in that type of situation. For me, one that comes to mind is a uh, Hermesence. Vetiver Tonka, um, yeah, that one's nice because it does have the green grassy vetiver, vetiver. Um, also hazelnut, I believe, and not really. I mean, I have a little bit of tonka bean, but it's just a sort of an interesting, nutty, creamy sort of vetiver. It's not for everybody. I'm kind of have my ups and downs with it at times. I really like it at times. I am not so keen on it, but I think if you let that hazelnut note take over, it's really nice for the autumn because it is kind of warming and comforting. It still has that classy greenness to it, which I do like. That's that's mine. For me, I think if you're going with vetiver for cold weather, you should probably go for inkier vetivers, so the ones that are more bold. And as much as I don't like it, Ancre Noir, the original, yeah. it's a good choice. Uh, Lextre, I like Strem is also pretty solid as well. It's a little yeah. more wearable. Um, and then other than that, I mean, Woody by Rosasi, man. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's so good. It's uh, it's, it, I wouldn't say it's necessarily um, amazing for winter, but for the price, it's it's a it's comparable to Vetiver Extraordinaire by Frederick Mall, in my opinion. Um, so you're getting that kind of quality with a very very tiny price tag, but but yeah, for winter specifically, Ancre Noir. Sweet, three good choices. All right, so that uh, I think should do it for this little round here of comments uh, if we want to go into the next section of uh, back to school fragrances and if they pass or fail i think we got what, eight of them maybe nine of them and then we can do some more questions not sure if we're going to be joined um, at, at what time but we can just tackle that when we come to that so yeah, yeah this is gonna, cool. yeah back to school so it's that time of the year again where you know back to school videos in the fragrance community are flourishing because you know, a lot of whether it be a student in college age or you know high school or whatever, uh, you want to smell good. Obviously, when you're going back to school, whether for any different purposes you could imagine. But uh, what scents are good or not so good in, in our opinion? I've listed some that I've been seeing in a lot of different people's lists. Um, we gotta keep in mind, you know, if you're especially in high school or below, you, you know, you're either on an, an allowance or maybe you're working part time, so you're not gonna have a whole lot of money and you don't want to be spending over like a hundred dollars on a scent. So all these are relatively affordable and we gotta keep that in mind. And then I think another important criteria, you, you wanna smell uh, very nice, not too strong to fill up an entire classroom, but you also wanna smell really good, maybe impress some other girls in your class or something like that. So that's sort of the whole direction of this list. Um, so first one guys, it's going with seemingly the, the hype king, at least this one's blown up over the last year. It is Prada Loam. So Prada and their new superstar fragrance alone. You guys think this is a pass? Does it get that A plus or does it just tank and fail <laughs> for a student? Um, I guess I'll start. Okay. I have the bottle here. Hey. Dang. Big, big boy. Um, yeah. I think it's a pass. And uh, I'll tell you why. It's uh, I think it's much more suited for offices. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, I mean, for the, especially for the price that you're paying, um, you know, I mean, it's still, it's still relatively up there. It hasn't, you know, flourished in the gray market as far as I know. Uh, I will say if, if you're going back to school and college, it could be a good choice. Yeah. Uh, but I don't, I wouldn't recommend it for um, the important part of college, aka partying and getting sloshed. <laughs> yeah. It's more of a classroom scent. Uh, yeah. Which could still be good because you know you obviously you know, can meet your significant other in class, of course. But um, True. that hasn't been my experience. Usually, I uh, hook up at parties. But 
TMI. Hey. But, uh, but yeah, no, it's a great fragrance. Um, um, I definitely think it has similarities to your own bowl for men. Dude, yep, 100%. But, um, but, 100%. But yeah, it's just good. Cool. What about you, Timmy? What do you think? Prado alone. Uh, pass pass for private or school. fail. Definitely um, for back to school, say, uh, definitely pass. Um, as you guys, a lot, a lot of you guys know, I, some of you guys know I do have a Thai channel, and I've preached this one for the college kids. Like exactly what James said, like I would recommend this for more of a college situation, like classroom yeah. college, not really high school, because it, it still is a pretty expensive fragrance. Although being under a hundred, it's still up there, like ninety something dollars if you buy it retail, mm -hmm. and maybe seventy something if you buy it off gray market. It's still pretty expensive, so I think it really gears more towards college students, and it has the luxury touch to it, which to me leans more towards you know, an older teenage years, twenty plus. Yeah. It doesn't really smell like high school to me. Or like a so posh you're, private school. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. So if you're going back to school in college, I really recommend this one for classroom, maybe like meetings or stuff like that. Any type of like school related or formal events you have to go to, this is a, the fragrance for you. You could definitely use this any for any time like that. But for parties, uh, no, no, it's not a party <laughs> fragrance. You need something yeah. else for that. So yeah, <laughs> if, you're high school, uh, if you're in high school, I would say a fail because it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. way too much for high school students to pay yeah and i mean i'm just gonna echo what you guys have been saying this one is kind of a tough one for me to pass or fail because it's kind of right in the middle you can look at it at a bunch of different ways and i actually own dior Om O, oh, and um james you're right on the head this one smells very very similar to prado loam and that's why i actually don't own prado loam but i think it's very nice scent it's clean inoffensive kind of uh slightly soapy fresh um really really nice exactly what prado is known for and it is a little more on the expensive side and i think it's good for every student to have that one sort of uh, study like focus scent, you know, it's not really playful um, It's something that you can wear into any classroom and be fairly neutral yet still smell good um, Again, it is on the pressure side. So maybe not best for high schoolers But if you're going back to college and if you really need to like, you know, your final tests It's the end of the semester is coming and you need like a good study focus scent uh, that still smells classy then Yes, I think it is a pass, but it's just got to be for you know, the right yeah, right. Or if you go to like oh, prom. Yeah. No, prom, you wear a line of weed. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> homecoming. Homecoming is line of weed. Prom is something a little bit classier, maybe. But um, yeah, and like also maybe if you're going to like a private school, if you're like kind of like a more preppy type of a student, then this would fit pretty good too. And Manny has just joined the Yay! call. Yay! What's good? What's going on, guys? Can you hear me loud and clear? Loud yes. and clear. All right. Sounds good. And salute, brothers. Cool. Hey, we were just getting into um, our pass or fail fragrances back to school edition. So we're actually just on our first one, um, and it was Prado Loam. So we just gave our thoughts on, um, you know, if you thought it was a good scent for, you know, high school or college age student back to school, is it a pass or a fail in your opinion? Well, it's good scent for anyone. Super versatile. It does everything. Uh, at that point, you kind of just get what you prefer. Uh, Long by Prada, if not Dior um, O for Men by Chris and Dior, it's up to you. I personally prefer Lom by mm -hmm. this much, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but it's a super fresh, you know, Irish soapy, and that's what's up. It's, like, it's hard to hate, uh, it's unique, it's not off putting whatsoever. Yeah, it's super safe. Why not? Yeah, sure thing. I think my thoughts on Prada Lom is I mean, I got mine, like, I was so against it. At first, because I, I do like Dior Homme Eau, and I do think it reflects, uh, it does a better job showcasing the iris note, specifically. And when I want something that's fresh, soapy iris, you know, then I go with this. But I got a really good deal on this one. And now that I have it, um, yeah, it has it has a lot of character. But, um, but man, Dior Homme Eau, guys. <laughs> Dior, Dior knows what they're doing, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I have to pause y'all for a sec. Are you rocking Urban Ears headphones, fam? Yeah. That's what I said. That's Urban what I ears. told him. <laughs> See, we always have to talk about this. So you know fashion. What I'm saying? Yeah. We we gotta we gotta let the, 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 the crowd know that we're not the fashionable headphones. Yeah. We are not just fragrance heads here. You know, we're audiophiles at the same time. All <laughs> the senses matter. You know, yeah. you gotta swag out properly. You know, as far as aesthetic, the can's gotta be on point. And your nose got to be on point, too, with what you're smelling. So, like, everything matters, fam. Everything, everything. matters. 
not just mm-hmm. fragrance. You know, we love that shit the most, but you know, everything matters. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> hey, yeah. cool. ah, throw that in there for the people. You know always. what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, always. I feel a little left out now. I only have my earbuds. My other headphones are charging. So, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'm using the onboard mic right now because my ATH do audio, but it is Dang. what it is. We can still hear you good. Uh, all right. All right. All right. So, Perfect. thank you. Let's move into the next uh, fragrance, shall we? This one is Perry Ellis 360 Red, the uh, iconic looking bottle, of course. <laughs> um, so, you don't have to point the bottle out, fam. I know, man. <laughs> I just I'll always have this. It's, yeah, you do. Why would I make this design, man? It's freaking <laughs> weird. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, do you have what size you have right there? <laughs> Oh, dude. Can we not talk here. about bottle size right now? You got that 250? Big one. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Rocking that 100. <laughs> 200, 200. Pause. Damn. Pause. 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 Everything, pause. <laughs> Just pause. Damn. All yeah. right, so is this a pass or a fail for you guys for a high school, college age, back to school? Would you recommend this? Hot. Yes or no? I want to start. All right. Um, man, okay. For, for most people, this is... Uh, an all-star plus yeah value extremely likable and yeah. um obviously a clone of aqua de Gio, but mm-hmm. some would say it has a little more to it a little spicier um and again it's just this is dirt cheap the only thing is obviously because it's a clone of the best-selling men's fragrance of all time you're at serious risk of smelling like someone else um yeah especially Manny knows where I'm from. Everyone wears Aqua Di Gio. Same. Um, so, but uh, but again, in high school, I think not to insult high schoolers, but in general, they won't have as much of a of uh, of, a, of knowledge of fragrances, mm-hmm. you know, that an older person would have. So I think it's less likely that people are going to be like, you know, connoisseurs. I guess you could say, because yeah. they have other things to worry about, like getting good grades. I'm kidding. Losing Lit. virginities. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, that, that the scent ties into it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, real talk, like, for high schoolers, yes. College, no. You're, no. Like, most people will know in a metropolitan area with a big-ass college or university, that scent, for real. Yeah. I mean, if you're, like, at juvenile nose still, like, in your teens for the most part, then, hey, have at it unless the homies know that scent. Otherwise, like college what ones, dog? like don't like I, I who wants to smell like you know everyone else because yeah. I, I want to argue where we're from like moment. most people watch because yeah. the it's not always a bad thing to to smell like someone it's like because if you smell like someone's ex it could work in your favor and it has worked in my favor wow <laughs> Whoa, oh, okay, okay. Rock, okay. No, seriously if you rock Lamal, I'm telling you Lamal is a killer You're like this. There's going to be girls out there that are going to say, oh, my gosh, this is my ex. I loved him. He broke my heart. Can you be the stand-in? <laughs> you know? Oh, my God. Why would you want that? Because, dude, I got to get mines. <laughs> got to get mines. <laughs> wow, no. man. That's how you slide into the DMs. That's, that's how I was rolling. <laughs> In high school, <laughs> definitely. I mean, now, yes, you know, I want to be expressive. <laughs> I want to be creative. Yeah. But... Don't hit the play. Hit the game. Okay. Wow. <laughs> got to got wow. respect it, though. <laughs> Dang. I don't know. Three, oh, no, pass or fail 360 red. High school, definitely pass. It's cheap. You know, it's affordable. It's cheap. It's huge. And it, it, you know, you can wear it in classroom. You can wear it to, like, you know, maybe go to a sporting event, stuff like that. You can wear it pretty much almost any time in high school, which is perfect. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's less than 30 bucks. It would not break your bank whatsoever. You know, you, even if you get a, like a five bucks allowance every day or something, you can still save up for it. <laughs> so definite pass for high school. I don't see a reason to fail it. Even I guess even in college, if you really don't have that much money, because some not all college students have some money. Some really don't have money to eat off noodles and stuff like that. I do have friends who are like that, and so like I, I do understand that um, that side as well. So Perry, I'll switch to Robin bit. King, pink guy. Rama King, definitely, dude. I was one of those. Ra- Ramen King, pink guy. Yeah. <laughs> so That's yeah, the greatest de- Definite pass for me on pair Ellis 360 red. Wow, sweet. All right, Manny. Oh, did, did you already go? 
You know, well, like I'll, I'll elaborate. Um, high school, yes. College, no. Because yeah. like I'm trying to <laughs> yeah. sound like you know, smell like everyone. You know, real talk. Straight like up, yeah. I feel like even when I wasn't as deep into the fragrance game, it's just like it's something I was conscious of. That I would still consider myself at the time like a fragrance casual. Uh, so it depends on how much of an individual you want to be. You know, like if you're just like looking to smell nice, I guess it's okay. It's not anything to you to smell <laughs> like anyone else. Um, if it just means smelling good, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're into that, that's cool. But if you are looking to, to like feel a certain way in which you want to differentiate yourself from others, you're not going to do it with that period. Yeah. Like if you've smelt it on someone else, you probably don't want it yourself. And that's not trying to be disparaging. It's just like having like a cool shirt. It's just like, it, it looked cool on someone else, you know, like, wouldn't you want to try to rock something else then? Like, but it just depends yeah. what you're into. Yeah. You know? So like, it's very arbitrary, but being an individual who like wants to take pride in that, I, I wouldn't personally. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And yeah, so it's a fail. Oof. Okay. Call. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say the sort of same thing. So like, if you are, you know, younger, let's say if you're in high school and you're, if you consider yourself in the fragrance community and you're like a frag head, so to speak, I wouldn't recommend getting this just because, you know, you're going to smell this a lot. And if you know about these different types of scents, which not a lot of people do at that age, I think it's worth your while to go check out something a little bit more unique that is still in your price, you know, range and price bracket. And there are we'll something. Yeah. And yeah, so, but if you want to like recommend this to a friend or something that isn't into fragrances, that just wants something to smell nice, to get you through the day, get compliments and stuff, this will be great. And again, college, no, not really. Cause I think once you're in college, you need to sort of, drop that Aqua de Geo vibe, maybe a little bit, maybe step up to pro, Profumo or step up to more niche scents or something. So it's kind of a hard one. At the end of the day, I'm going to say a pass because um, it is... That is a step up to event. Yeah, that's step up from this oh, to yeah. event. Damn. That's like a... It's, it's just a, a hard... Going up. It's a hard pass, like... Yeah, like, either way. Besides, besides the price, I think it's a hard pass. Because would you pass, like, Aqua de Geo, you know... Like, yeah. oh, I think you know, I, I, pass as in like the academic term pass versus fail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Yeah, no, yeah. no pass is good. Fail is bad. No, yeah. I get that. But like, what, okay. But like, it's mediocre. But like, I, yeah. I, I, I feel like, the, like, part of why we're passing is because we're looking out for their wallets too. Which is yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 I think like, I'm like, because would I pass? Uh, what's it called? Three sixty red and not aqua de Joe for a high schooler. You know, if we're looking at uh, with like the price yeah. concern too, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's just like mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. A fragrance that I think is comparable uh, to, in this situation is Cool Water by Davidoff. Yeah. In terms of price, it's so cheap, but it was a fragrance that everyone wore back in the day mm -hmm. in high school. But with with mm -hmm. Cool Water, I think it's been long enough that the new generation is it's okay to wear the Cool Water as then. much. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool to wear cool water, guys. Yeah, it's okay to wear cool water again. I, I mean, for the kids. I still have a crazy when I, when I wear it. Yeah, for the kids. Yeah, for I did, the kids, I did, yeah. I did Oliver Twist, some some theater, and... Uh, what did you play? What did you play? Thanks, bro. <laughs> Oliver. I, I was Bill Oliver. Sykes. I was the villain. Hey. And, uh, and I wore cool water during rehearsals, and I got mm. tons of compliments from, like, the... From the teeny boppers. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. You know? Baby. Right. But um. But yeah. No. It's 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 um. I I still think Aqua Di Gio is still such a big part of, you know. So it's so widely available. And, yeah. And it's. It, yeah. I mean, I was probably in high school the most recent out of all you guys. I would think. I mean, actually, I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm in high school right now. So. <laughs> it's just starting my freshman year. Freshman you know? year. Freshman year. Sure. That's right. Going back on Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Anyhow, this was like, I remember so many guys in the gym locker room, um, you know, they would all share their sprays with other people that this is like what I saw 80% of the time, to be honest. And it's like, oh yeah, this Aqua de Geo, Aqua de Geo. And it would just. That's how it spread up. where I'm from. Yeah. That's For real, man. <laughs> Dude, we rock Dark Temptation, man. That's what? Awesome. Oh, yo, X, we, X. we still rock Dark Temptation, man. Like <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hold that. And there's nothing yeah. wrong with Dark Vintage Temptation. Dark Temptation, man. I got That's it. That price skyrocket. I mean, too. And yeah. Phoenix. It is Skyrocket from five dollars to like twenty five. When you mm. think about that, that's five hundred percent. That's pretty good. 
You yeah. know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That's what's up. I like that fragrance too. <laughs> Dark temptation, man. Yeah. Man, you know what someone needs to do? You know, like they need to make niche dark temptation. How lols would that oh be? Oh my god! <laughs> uh, yeah, like some of the some of the people in the community with uh, clone brands get on that. Dark yeah. temptation intense. Dark, <laughs> dark, no, dark temptation. Uh, extract the puffer. Oh my gosh! <laughs> one time, just as synthetic as ever. Ew. All right, so Ew. next one up is probably. The most popular, I would say, I'm thinking in, in high schools nowadays, uh, probably a lot of them got it for, you know, in for Christmas or for their birthday or something. It's Dior Sauvage is going to be the next fragrance. Does this get a pass or a fail, you know, high school, college age, back to school, uh, worth wearing, worth the money? That's the question. It's a little bit on the more ex expensive side of the budget, I would say. Yeah, dude, all-star. If you're in high school, you need compliments, man, because you're insecure. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> and you will get compliments to survive. The only danger is it does perform like crazy. So in a classroom environment where everything's really yeah, tight knit, yeah. you don't want to radiate all over the place. Go one spray. Yeah. Still, man. Yeah, careful. Careful on the trigger. Definitely agree. A plus. Yeah, no. Uh, Savage on scent alone, it's like, I mean, it's gonna do the same job as all these other scents. You know what I'm saying? That we've. I, I've seen I've seen so far, you know, it's gonna get a crap ton of uh, compliments if it's you know flattering and unfamiliar to everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the end of the day, um, you, you are susceptible to smelling like the Christmas present that your homies got, you <laughs> know, Everybody. from their moms and, and yeah. shit. You know, so that, it just depends. Like, I mean, on a compliment factor level, hell yeah. I mean, it's gonna outperform, uh, you know. Aqua de Joe or 360 Red on that level, yeah. like I would think. But that's all it will do for you. Like, I don't think anyone's going to be out here, like, you know, Sauvage is like my favorite scent, you know, on actual scent alone. I don't know anyone who said ever said that, you know, mm -hmm. in the fragrance community or in general. It's mm -hmm. just because it's, it's a utilitarian scent. And if you need it for utility, um, yeah, it's the performance, feedback, versatility, whatever. Yes. If you can afford it, because even discounted, it's still pretty pricey. It is. Yeah. You know, so like if that's a deal breaker, if we're going to take that consideration, I'll just, you know, ask for it for uh, Christmas or your birthday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two and O. Oh. For me, for me, um, like every, every time the back to school topic comes up, I, the first thing and the most important thing for me is the, the price and like, you know, yeah. the usage. Like how much use you get out of it and for the price you know mm -hmm. and um like the, the smell is secondary to me so a sauvage is definitely a pass for me because sure it is a little bit more expensive but you can use that in a classroom go once free you can use it in the club you can go use it in a party heavier. or classroom you know it does like this is this is a one fragrance for the whole entire year if you don't have to get that much money yeah it's essentially the only fragrance you need if, you, if that's the one you like you know so for the price, it's definitely worth it. You don't need a huge collection. You just need that one. Yeah, because so when it comes to you, price, you're not yeah. only, you're not only you're, buying you're, into how much it is, how much mm -hmm. you're using it and for what yeah. is something and, you have to consider if you're not a um yep. if you are a one cologne guy. That's mm -hmm. something you have to consider. And this is definitely like an every occasion type of fragrance. Like I I I don't see when you cannot use the Orsavage. If you go light spray, you can use it anytime you want. Um, and it's pleasing. You're not going to get negative reaction out of it. The only time you would, if you if you overspray in the wrong situation, That's yeah, the only time or you, you might get, get reactions. Maybe the not as positive feedback. Not as positive. You are. But, yeah. So there's that, but that, like that's the worst it's going to be. You know, no one's going to be like, yo, mm -hmm. someone smells bad. Someone might be like, you might be wearing too much cologne. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're wearing, you're that's too not. That's, there's, there, that's that's a first world problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, like for for the price and versatility, I really can't argue. It's it's a pass, definitely. So it's like saying yes to everything else, you know, Dylan Blue, you know, yeah. uh, Bleu de Chanel, uh, Aqua Antique, Mr. Burberry, everything. Although same with the like, that similar um, performance and scent character, you can definitely yeah. just go ahead and buy it. I mean, some are definitely like wacker than others, but if we're speak speaking on specifically feedback and utilitarian platform for the kids, K. 
E E D Z kids the kids then yeah <laughs> go for it <laughs> I don't know this is tough I mean it is quite expensive it is quite popular um, you, you guys know right how I feel yeah, about Savage sure. I mean I never really thought I I don't know I don't know if it's just me I never got a huge amount of compliments with this I can name dozens of you know fresh records that have gotten me more compliments than this I don't know what it was it just didn't work with me. But I know it's you know Dog, a lot of high schoolers. People are wearing it too. It got popular super fast. Yeah, I can't say I got any feedback with it either, dude. Yeah, to be like, honest, real talk. Like, and it's weird because like I get better feedback with more obscure scents mainly yeah. because Did of the fact it? that no one's wearing anything like it. Yeah, right. So I, like, you can screw off, Tim. <laughs> you're, you're getting slapped next week. Oh shit! Easy. Easy. I can't wait camera. to see these vlogs. Oh On my camera. gosh! Yo, what about Yo. my boy Savage? A five dollar Savage clone. That's very close. <laughs> Savage. Savage pour on. Oh, yeah. Savage pour on this Chris cool. fragrance. Five dollar Emma. Chris, yeah. Chris fragrance, man. Five bucks, Chris man. Wow. Even. No, no, Chris Four designer. Man. Chris Designer. Chris Designer, right? Yeah, Chris Designer. See? Yo. The big homie Chris Designer in the building, yo. Yeah, my, my um, favorite person. Out here with them. <laughs> Bro. Oh, uh, yo, real real talk. Um, I just want to bring this up real fast because uh, it's quite relevant in uh, the fragrance spheres of uh, at least in Canada where we have been getting great um, potential offerings at Costco for fragrances, um, mm. especially towards uh, James's area in Mississauga, Ontario, where I was just working near, like, like two weeks, three weeks ago. So I'm kind of angry that I'm not in that area because I know someone who picked up a four ounce Adventist for 60 Canadian dollars, which is ridiculous. But, um, like, it, we're on the Adventist watch right now. It's Adventist watch 2017. So, um, I, I think I want to run this by you guys on camera. Uh, right now because I think it would be hilarious. But if I find one of those bottles, I think that should be a team top five giveaway. Ooh, yeah, our first one. You know what I'm saying? Like, after we get ourselves our own bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got mine already. Gotta get mine. You got two of them? Oh, my gosh. Sam, no. like, uh, I'm pretty sure everyone here has at least two or three bottles each. You're right. I got zero. I only have one of them. No yeah, because, like, Brad is rocking the boat. We're, we're talking like straight up like <laughs> rock. You know? I don't like Aventus. I don't like Savage. I love, this is why we love Brad. I got so everything dumb, but Aventus. I got every pineapple scent you can imagine besides Aventus. So that's why <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> snowflakes? <laughs> yeah, snowflakes. Dude, I got pineapple vintage intense, noir intense, insurrection. Yeah. Like, you have more intense? On. Yeah, you just got it. Ooh. Yeah, I tried yes. noir intense already too. Reviews coming out soon. Yo, noir is sick. You know, <laughs> Brad's not gonna use Aventus DNA unless it's sent to him. <laughs> yeah, <That's laughs> pretty insane. much. <laughs> Until Creed uh, sends me a full bottle of Aventus, I'm not gonna review it. Whoa, 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 whoa! The reach, the reach. The, yeah, I love it. Yo, yo, no, you know what they need to do, and they need to do this for Tim too. It's like we need y'all to get. A full bottle of Viking. And I know Tim already pre-ordered oh, yeah. gangster like that. But like, let's be real. Triple Link did the most gangster shit ever when he did the Viking. <laughs> like, that yeah. was... A, I've never seen anything like that. That was so sick. That was so good. I was like, oh. That again. Yeah. And then he pulled a Steve Irwin for the ZP. That was sick. <laughs> that was serious. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Back to bashing Savage now. Um, let's let's continue with this. <laughs> so oh, I mean, man, more of this. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just I just never quit. Um, no, like, they don't. I you know I don't know if you guys, but you know how tr you can be trigger happy sometimes. You know, back when you were high school and uh, guys in the locker room, how trigger happy they were. I go blah, 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 spray as many. That is a dangerous thing to do with this scent because if you go into any kind of medium sized small classroom, you're going to absolutely fill that uh, and. I don't think at high school you necessarily want to be known as the cologne guy that early on. I mean, everything in moderation, I guess. But to me, I think guys out there can do better than Savage. It's now the, it's the new Aqua de Geo of 
you know, mm -hmm. high school sense. I, I totally agree, though. And if, you, it if, does, you, if you knock out your teacher, you don't, you don't have any homework. <laughs> True. <laughs> Ten extra <laughs> points, extra, anyway, extra credit. Man. And then you don't learn anything, and you become a, a dropout, and you suck at life. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's tough like for me. Like Gates? <sighs> <laughs> man, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, it's it's gonna get a fail for me, guys. I, I'm not sure. I mean, I know oh. Savage is so good, but I, I have to rate on people's praise. I mean, there is better things in here, I think, for you guys in high school than Savage. You can get it if if you already have it. Go ahead. This Barry. guy is gonna whip out one hundred dollar Atelier colognes for the high schoolers. <laughs> Easily, you already hey, know. guys. Bergamot Soleil. This is the, definitely the better. This choice. is it right here. Versus Heil. Yeah, you know, like Bergamot Soleil, which doesn't perform and going to get you feedback and cost one hundred fifty dollars. This is why I love rap. Yeah. <laughs> to each his own, man. Yeah. So Yo, those are my. Talk, I'd rather walk. I'd rather walk Bergamot Soleil for sure. Hey, you smell unique. Uh, yeah. Bra, um, mm -hmm. Pomelo Paradis. You know all that mm -hmm. for real. See, like Brad's like digging this. You know. Or yeah, that's what's up. The girls would be like, "You smell like or my breakfast." Saying, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you smell like my <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> oh, brutal! That's oh man, funny. that's what's up. Make her hungry again. Mm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Next one up, well, let's uh, go into Boss Bottled Intense from Hugo Boss. So I originally had, you know, the original Boss Bottle on this list was said, "Why not make it intense?" Because that's sort of the the new one that's out, and I, you know, still relatively four we can find on discounters pretty easily uh, for that kind of middle price range. I think. So, what about Boss Bottled Intense? Is that pass or fail? Yeah, normally I think it's imperative to. Do what's it called? Uh, like, um, like MSRP. But since we're talking high schools, you're looking to save as much money as possible. So based on the fact that they're getting it for like what fifty dollars for a one hundred ml, mm -hmm. uh, why not? It's not like Boss bottled intense is like too hot right now, as far as what everyone else is wearing, yeah. and it's still a feedback getter, and it's still really versatile, mm -hmm. and it can hold you through the winter. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not going to be overly choky in the summer. Just go one spray uh, in like the early part of September, you know, when you're in school. Sure. Why not? And it can get you through the clubs too, you know, like why, you know, like the dances in high school yeah. and the clubs, you know, when you're college and the parties. Yeah. Like what, like to me, this is a more, this is actually a more uh, versatile scent than, you know, some of the modern day generic freshies. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my personal opinion, like I, I, I would say that, and right now it's it's a little bit more unique as well. Um, like, and there's a little bit more spice besides the uh, just the apple and the vanilla. So yeah, definitely apple pie vibes, like James said, with like some of the clove and cinnamon. That's what's up. I think it's definitely kind of pass. like uh, it's kind of like I could do Gio Profumo in the sense where mm -hmm. um, Boss bottled everyone had man, um, but. It was. Yeah, it's, it. I think it's it's run its course now that not a lot of people are wearing it on the regular. And yeah, so it, it's cool again. The, the, it's cool again, and the yeah. intense version is it's it's nicer, it's uh, and it's it's a huge compliment getter. Like it's because you know, uh, sweet fragrances like that garner a lot of compliments, but it's not overly cloying like a, a niche gourmand, where you know you can't wear it in warmer weather, so. It, honestly, it's one that I wouldn't really think about, which I think is a good thing, because if you do want to smell a little bit different, but still get something that's accessible, uh, in regards to like it's easy to get and um, it's pretty cheap too, so ah, I think it's a pass. Nice. Yeah. I'm, well, I'll let you go, Timmy. I'll I'll finish it up. <laughs> um, I'll echo both of them. It's a pass. I mean, it's very versatile. You can wear it any really any time you want. Even as a high schooler or a college student, it gets you through summer, winter. It's like I said, price is number one factor for me. And with the price and versatility, you really, really cannot go wrong. Plus, not a lot of people wear that DNA anymore, yeah. anyway. So that's and a you huge get plus. That too, like, like I mean, in my experience, at least with the original, I definitely got it. You know, mm -hmm. there's no reason to why it you're not going to get it here. It didn't get me that many feedbacks, mainly because it did not perform well off me. Like well, at all. I think, just skin, I think it's just like skin. No, no, I wore the original one out back when I was in like um, oh, yeah. summertime in Thailand too. It just didn't oh, wow. well, 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 well. I think that's just bad skin chemistry, but you know, if you perform is. well off you, you're going to get a lot of compliments for it. It's just a delicious smelling scent. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I definitely agree. I mean, I am definitely a fan of this one. Um, it just takes the original Boss bottle and amps it up a little more spicy, a little more sweetness, gives it a little more character and depth. And yeah, you guys are right. There's nobody really going to be rocking that. And I think this would be like a really good graduating sense. So if you're in high school and you're kind of just graduating into college, I think this would work really nice uh, as you're kind of going into college too, because it can you know fit for those parties, but also fit for class, the cooler weather. Um, I think it would just be a really good set for the price. And again, not a lot of people are, are wearing it here and smell different from other people. So this one gets a pass for me. Uh, very, very nice one. Sweet. So let's move on to the next one. Let's pretend now, you know, this one actually drops back in, I think the springtime. Maybe you got this, your birthday's in the summer and you got this for your birthday or something. Is this the pass or fail? It's Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Intense. So it's the new 2017 Intense version of the best-selling Light Blue. Is this pass or fail for back to school? Uh, fail? Ooh. Yeah, like it's not like it smells no, bad, no. but I didn't, it didn't perform off me. Yeah. Uh, so the, the one thing I'm thinking of as far as criteria for the kids is can I wear this anywhere? So versatility and performance are like are sticklers for me, and I'm like, I couldn't wear that in the club. You know, I won't smell bad, but it's not like anyone's gonna smell me, you know. So like that's one thing I'm considering. Your bio uh, would if, permeate the fragrance. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like you, like you just won't smell bad. It, it's a good fragrance. It's not. I mean, it's a good smelling fragrance. I don't think it's like a you know a nice like blend as far as uh, everything considered. But it's weird. Like on scent alone, I I prefer like light blue for women, you know, and I think some guys even do, which is interesting. But it's it's just okay. So that's okay. Like it's, it's, I'm gonna say a fail, just because like I don't, I don't, it's not something I, I would recommend. Like I don't think I could. I, I, after like what we just recommended, no, oh, absolutely not. Nobby. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Bradley just shed a tear. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I saw it in up his eyes. <laughs> I know. I saw the video, Brad. You put it in the water and everything. You ate lunch after it. Just put it in there. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> dude, I don't, I, I don't know how I feel about this. At, at times, I like it. Like, I, I've actually put, um, let a friend try this, and off him, it smelled really, really good. But I feel like when I'm wearing it, I just don't get that same feeling that I get from the original light blue. Like, there's something, that extra saltiness, um, something about it just sets it apart from this, a little more sour. And again, the, the exact same performance. This one does not perform any better. Uh, which is kind of disappointing. I was expecting it to perform a little bit better, at least, um, with it being a higher concentration. So it is, I mean, I think it would be good. It would be a very safe, inoffensive if you walk right to the gym. Um, it's close. I'm going to give it a pass, though, because it has actually got me some good compliments, and I think it is quite versatile. Um, but just know, you know you're not going to be the most unique-smelling guy, I guess. And I don't know. It's, it's, it's a tough one for me. But it, it'll get a... Barely a pass, maybe like a C plus, you know, just barely ab above average. Yeah, I think for me, like, I mean, there's, there's in that vein, I'd rather go for something like Versace Mano Fresh, because mm. I think that one is a little more pleasant off of the skin. Cost Cheaper. effective too, and cost very cost effective too. Uh, and it's if we're looking at Dolce Gabbana, it's more unique. And if we're looking at Dolce Gabbana, uh, for me, I'd rather reach for the reformulated Pour Homme. Ooh, actually, uh, it's a little more mature, so it's not. It's way more mature. <laughs> it's not ideal for food, <laughs> yeah, but, but at least it's versatile. Uh, it's, yeah, it's definitely versatile for the you know the person who can rock it for sure. Yeah, I would know that. So, um, but it's weird because like I rocked that back in the day. Me too, I did. Yeah, like until I realized what what m more mature could evoke, you know. But the reformulated version right. is, is 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 a little more accessible. It's more watered down. Yeah, vintage. For sure. yeah. So I, that's why more I think cologne. it's it's a little more wearable, and it's just it's a safe standard, you know, nice cologne. Um, but uh, but light blue, yeah, it's it's great in the summer for very specific uses. So maybe if you're on the west coast, if you're in Cali or something, it'd be great. But man, if you're in Nunavut, you have no use for that fragrance. <laughs> yeah, it's a body bag. It's a body bag. <laughs> Or if you were where Timmy's from, you know, Bethel, Alaska, see ya. See ya. Yeah. Later. Yeah. No, that would, yeah, it would never work in Alaska. If you're living anywhere cold, light blue and tent would never work there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Um, for That's me, I would say I, I'm, I agree with James completely. At I like I was actually even thinking this myself. I would reach for Versace Mano Fresh over that like any day. Yeah, it's it's definitely cheaper. Last time I saw it, I actually checked the price yesterday. You could find it for like under twenty bucks sometime for fifty ml. That's with that kind of price, man. That costs less than like if you're you know. It's a large pizza and ham sandwich. So <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not even a large pizza, man. It's like a small pizza. <laughs> Not so if you walk so in special. Hey, it's like two meals at um two meals at KFC, two big meals at KFC. Uh, it's it, <laughs> it's so cheap. You really cannot go wrong with that. And the smell is, I think, uh, more interesting to me than light blue yeah. intense. Although light blue intense is not a bad smelling fragrance by any means. Like if you're one of those guys who, do, who are like more reserved, more to yourself, you know, you don't really care about that. If other people will smell you or not, you just want to smell nice. Light blue is a fragrance that could be for you. But again, I would reach for. Versace Mano Fresh over this, even for that situation, or for that type of per people. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, this one's a fail for me. Mm. Dang. But that the, juice that, is beautiful. The, the, I know, yeah, the, the blue color is awesome. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I like, a little red. out of it, I'm doing my fancy football draft right now, trying to like multitask, because it's the only oh, night to do it tonight. Man, I dropped it twice already. Jeez, yeah. Get on that. All right, I'm trying to pick a quarterback. I'm going with um, freaking uh, Matt Ryan. Wait. I thought you said cornerback. A quarterback, yeah. Yeah. A-Ron. A Rod Gurley. Wait. A-Ron Balake. Wait, no. You oh, so, have, look, uh, actually, Matt all the Ryan, quarterbacks. I have, tr I have Tom Brady to choose from. I actually got, only got 20 seconds. Drew Brees, Matt Ryan. I got everybody. Kirk Cousins. Brady, Brady. <laughs> Wait, and you took Matt? No, no. Ace, I, not... Should I take Brady or Matt Ryan? Quick, ten seconds. Brady, 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 Brady. Brady. He's the greatest. Julio okay. Jones goes down. Right. It's over. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm doing Brady. Like, it was close. Sports you know <laughs> Thank you guys. On that, yeah. Sorry for that interruption. Okay, so next, um, next fragrance up, we're going on Mont Blanc Individuel. Oh. I don't know how you say that. This one kind of blew up big time. Um, I think let's it see. Yeah. Free. So it's great cost effective, first of all. I mean, you guys can find this still very inexpensive, even though it has been uh, very much hyped up recently. You can still find it for a great price. So, is this fragrance pass or fail for back to school? Well, seeing as actual MSRP is even like like $50 mm -hmm. from what I know for like a 75 ml, that's ridiculous, man. I mean, ridiculously good. And then, obviously, if you look on like Walmart, or um, you know, fragrance discounters, you'll see that for like a thirty dollars for, you know, seventy five ml, something like that. Yeah, the evaluation is actually not good at all, guys. It, doesn't it retail for like four hundred and fifty? Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so don't be like James. Unoriginal, unoriginal Santal. Do not a year later. That's ridiculous. Uh, we're talking about fragrance. Review next week. <laughs> wow. Okay, so individual. It, this is definitely a class. This is another one of those fragrances like. Uh, mm -hmm. The like uh, Boss Bottle in, in Tons, where you can wear every, everywhere. You know, like name one situation you can't wear individual. With, like, you can go as light as one spray for the classroom if you want to. You yeah. know, it works in the club, it works, works for, uh, you know, running errands if you're just chilling, if you want to use it as a snuggle scent, and it costs like a large pizza and a ham sandwich, so why not? Yeah. It's an awesome. It's an all-star for me. Um, I think it's 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 for non-fragrance community peeps. It's extremely unique and so pleasant. The performance is very good in its longevity. Um, the it also the, performs uh, better than original Santal. Not not the 2008 batch, bro. <laughs> wow. But, uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yo, batch variation. <laughs> <laughs> no, straight up. They got the old school itemizer and everything. Um, but, um, no, but individual is nice because I feel like it's not insane projection. So I still think it's if you lightly spray it, it'll linger pretty close to you for a long time. So that, that's good for classrooms. And also for for clubs, it's a, like a no-brainer, man. Yes. It's, it's, so, it's so good. It's so unique. It has – it's so pleasing. Um, and yeah, it's a fragrance that does a pretty good job at, uh, smelling like a much more expensive fragrance. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah, what? It's an awesome you mean the much more expensive fragrance smells like the cheaper fragrance? Came out first, yeah. Well, guess what? <laughs> New poem came up before both. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, original Santal was a clothing individual because dude is friends with Pierre Bourdon. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's crazy that's conspiracy theory. Yeah, is it my turn now? Or, come on, oh, Timmy, but more belongs to individual. It's a pass because of. It's 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 a good scent. It's uh, it's not my favorite of all time scent. You know, I smelled it. It is it is okay. It's not my favorite. Original scent is also not my favorite smell in the world. But for the price, you can't beat it. And it's it smells really 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 pleasing. You're not gonna offend anyone. That's for sure. People are gonna like it. And especially like um, I think James said before, you're insecure. You need you need the, the, the compliments. It will get yeah. you that. So. I have nothing against it. You can wear it high school or college. Does not matter. You can even wear it like past college. Like anyone can pull that off, really. Yeah. So, definite, definite pass. It's under thirty bucks still, mm -hmm. regardless of how hype it is. I think it's, it's always going to be that low in price, mm -hmm. unless they decide to discontinue it and it goes up by a hundred dollars. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think they'll ever discontinue that because of how much they sell it now. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Individual. No, they could because, like, I don't know, because people aren't – it's not a huge hit at actual individual stores, like, at actual Mont Blanc stores. Okay. So, because, like, what does better there is, like – Legend. Legend Intense. Yeah. Stuff that they've That's been correct. dropping lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Legend Spirit. Uh, what's it called? Star Legend Walker Knight. Stuff. The brand new one. Yeah. Or whatever that is. <clears throat> It's, it's, it's just kind of like, you know, if it got discontinued, it would be on the same hype that Midnight in Paris was. Mm -hmm. Like, it sold a lot at the actual store. Mm -hmm. But amongst the community, it was huge. Yeah. So, people are like, why did they discount discontinue this? Well, crazy mm -hmm. at actual boutiques, you know. So. Yeah. <clears throat> you know. The bottle is so pretty, though. It is. That's my, that's my biggest, like... Ooh. Um, sadness was it with the with the midnight in Paris? Is that it's one of the most beautiful looking bottles ever? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even at retail, it's <laughs> so worth it for sure. Yeah. For a niche smelling scent with an awesome bottle, it's wicked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, let's come here. What you guys said, um, great for any occasion, any age, great price. I mean, it really is uh, almost the perfect you know fragrance. You're gonna smell pretty unique, and from what a lot of other people are wearing, and I think this is a great one for. College age, just as well as high school. I mean, it, it, the scent doesn't really have any age to it. You know, it, it can be worn by anybody. So a definite pass uh, does great in all categories, and I think will will do you really good in warmer weather, cooler weather, and will perform last the entire day. Just I go on and on. So um, it's a very good job for Mont Blanc Individual. I think it got four out of four for us. Um, mm -hmm. Solid. So we got I think one more left, unless we want to add any more at the end, but. This one is, again, a little bit on the pricier side, and maybe this one you got this for a Christmas gift or some kind of gift, um, or maybe in college if you know you can buy it, but it is Spice Bomb from Victor and Rolf. I know this one is very popular with the uh, younger crowd, so is this pass or fail? Uh, I want to go yeah. first. I want to go first. All right, take it away. Wear it. Wear it. Wear it. Um, it's, the newer formulation is not as strong as you may think it is. Um, I've tried it. It's a lot weaker than the old batch that I do have. <laughs> it definitely is toned down. So you can wear this inside classroom now, mainly for winter time. You could, or even for one like the, the fall time, you can even wear one spray of it. It's not. It's not as strong as as it is used to be anymore. Um, it definitely fades fades fast. Mm -hmm. um, so you can wear it. Uh, you know, school starts in fall anyway. Fall, winter time, spring time. You can definitely rock school this. School starts in summer. <laughs> it's like it's like towards the school end of starts in summer. Even, uh, it's like, still like, like, like mid August. <laughs> You know, it, like it's, it's yeah. like it's close. It's way close to fall, and it's only really summertime for like some parts of the country. A lot of places or like you know, month, yeah. Canada or Alaska is already freaking cold. <laughs> well, the majority yeah. of Canada, like the northern the population parts, like, wise, already kind of fally, cold, and stuff like that. So definitely, spice bomb is a great grab, and I highly doubt a lot of people would think about wearing this in school. Yeah, 
I doubt that. I really doubt that. So if you have the money for it, buy it. Definitely more, I think, for college student than it is for high school. Like, basing on the price alone, I don't think it's, it's a good buy for a high schooler because it is inexpensive and it's really hard to find this, like, heavily discounted. I don't know why. Something Just, just something about the Spice Bomb line, it, they're always expensive. Well, Victor and Ralph in general has very tight distribution yeah. for the most part, mm -hmm. and uh, they already had super high evaluations. So, for example, for like I think uh, 50 ml or 90 ml, like you're still paying, uh, like for 90 ml, you're still paying like 100 bucks, if not way over that, you know? Definitely, so, yeah. And and for good reason, the stuff performs despite being good. Yeah, it's very it's very good. So for me, definite pass on the uniqueness of it. You're not gonna smell like really any pretty much anyone. At all, like I don't smell this off a lot of people. To be completely honest, um, I've actually I've never smelled spice bomb off anyone else. Mm. But that all. makes one of us. It's pretty popular where I'm from. Yeah, it's it's quite popular. Times. I know girls who are spice bomb as crazy as that as that sounds. Uh, well, you can yeah. match her. So, <laughs> but yeah, like, my my thought is is a definite pass. Is she's a you can use it not. throughout yeah. the year of, of that during school at, at, at any occasion really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I like the utility of it with a, a toned down, but I'm a, I'm one of those people who are kind of uncomfortable paying for something that used to perform better and used to smell better, and then it's yeah. not that anymore, and it's still the same price. So like inflation, is, is, it makes it more like more wearable. So it took away one thing, but it adds another thing on. So it's not like well, I like get that. That's why there's other no. fragrances that are more versatile. You know, like it gained that. But it's still you're paying on paper, like you're still paying less for more. I'm paying more for less, is what I'm saying. So that's why, I like, and the thing is, like, to me, like, as far as its uniqueness, it is a unique scent, but it's not unique to people here. So in college, I'd still say no, and in high school, you can't afford it. I don't so, think it's unique. I mean, I think, yeah. yeah. I know a lot of people that wear Spice Bomb where mm -hmm. I'm from. Yeah, and yeah. Um, and I don't think it's honestly all that versatile to be honest. And I, I get the, the the thought of just just one spray, and I still think it's it's you know it shines in the winter. And um, and if I'm going, if I'm gonna be you know wear wear something of that scent character. I'd rather reach for. A million hey, there you go. Ooh, um, wow. So I think hey. it's, I think this is more. It's beast, though. It's beast. Yeah, it's beast, mm -hmm. but it's more. Um, it's, it's a little more likable for the mainstream nose, um, but Spice Bomb, it's just, you can't find a discounted really. That's the problem. I'm not going to front. Whenever I smell it off someone, and I smelled it off someone today at work, I just averted my nose. I'm like, this is Wait. way too spicy. Spice Bomb or One Million Purvey? Spice Bomb. Okay. One Million Purvey. Oh, One Million Purvey. Really? Yeah. I mean, because like now we're talking 2017. We're talking 2014, like probably Spice Mom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like I'm, you know, less for more. I'm not that kind of guy personally. I get Tim's argument with it. I like to note one thing. Story. I do like this different in like geographic areas. It, it it really tells like you know like people would, like like exactly. you guys said you guys smell a lot of the one EDP over there. Yeah, God, I barely yes. smell any uh, of the one EDP nope. over here. And there's you know I don't. Yeah, I don't smell that at all. <laughs> so yeah. it's really different in like demographics. And well, not EDP, just EDP. the one in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, like I don't smell the one in general at all here. The um, one is without a doubt probably in Niagara Falls, Ontario, the most popular scent besides, uh, I'd say Fierce Cologne and Aqua de Joe are right up there too. Wow. I, I yeah. smell Aqua de Joe the most everywhere I go. Really? Like that's like I mean, the number that's one scent I picked up. Like, <laughs> Straight away. Dude, I smell <laughs> a lot of Invictus where I'm at, and I smell Spice Bomb a fair amount of times. Um, oh, yeah, Aqua de Joe Profundo. This might be like, hold on, let's not talk too much about this. It might be a good four way collab for our channel later. What Ooh. fragrances do we smell the most in our areas? Because yeah. we're all in different kind of areas. So, well, the the is is this guys, <laughs> wait for the video to come out on the Team Talk Guys <laughs> channel. Ah, yeah. Hey, yo, what do you guys think about Spice Bomb oh. Fresh if we're talking about? In a summary. Wonderful. 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 It's a nice scent. Yeah, it's definitely a nice scent. Oh. Yeah. It's all right. It's not great, but like it's 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 like I, it's I, very I like the original smelling. spice ball more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But would you say it's more versatile because it's more appropriate for warmer weather? Yeah. Maybe. Absolutely. It could be. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just yeah. something to ponder. 
Mm -hmm. so, so uh, I think Spice Bomb is a great uh, college uh, scent. Probably not for high schools. I think it's a little bit too aggressive. But I think uh, for college, it works great because, again, it is for that night out uh, when, you're, when you go partying. I think it's great. But at the same time, especially in the fall, cooler weather, it's really good. If you just go, you know, one spray, and um, I think it just has a nice spicy scent around you that's very appealing. So I'm going to give it a pass. Um, it smells manly too, which I which I really like, and I, I think it's really solid for college age and above. So if you know you made it for like actually speaking about uh, spice bomb again, and I'm with you, Brad. But uh -huh. uh, what's it called? Uh, we were finding spice bombs at like them discounted Costco sections, right? Really? So check out yeah. what we picked what? up. I got a second black orchid, 50 ml for 60 bucks. Canadian. That's what? so free. Like picking up some cool oh, stuff. Many, like, when, when I'm in Canada, you're, you're taking me to Costco, bro. Yeah. Oh, we're <laughs> going to we're, no, we're going Ventus hunting, fam. Yeah, we're going hunting. Ventus hunting. It's not. It's so free, man. We're talking 60 Canadian dollars for four ounce of Ventus. You can get this stuff at. Are you crazy, man? Yeah. So, like, I literally was digging through it, and this is the only good crap I found. I found uh, Allure on by Chanel, and I'm like. Yeah. Reformulated, though, probably. Reformulated, yeah. yeah. But, but. But the spice bomb was another good buy if you're into that. You can find spice House of Matriarch at Costco. I mean, <laughs> yo, don't Dude. joke, don't joke about that because you'll be finding Tuca to tell at your nearest Costco. Oh, oh, damn! Uh, I'm oh, joking. Okay. I, love this I don't make tomorrow. any money off that. So, <laughs> if I made money yo, off that, I would. Contrary be to popular that, belief, so. I'm not contrary to popular that. belief, I do not make money for people who buy Tuca to tell. Mm -hmm. But you know who does? Is the turtles? The turtles. The turtles. Yeah, exactly. ten percent of proceeds donates to the turtles. Go to the turtles. So if if you don't buy Tuka to towel at retail, you, you, you hate turtles. You hate turtles. Is what we're yeah. saying. Like, <laughs> I'm not saying that's just a fact. Turtle, you know? turtle. So so we gotta show love to not only Tuka to Tim but to Tim. Ninja turtles. Uh, it's Ninja turtles. Ninja uh, turtles. Well, that pretty much I think is all of our fragrances for back to school um, in that section. So I guess we can get to some question and answers now. If you guys have any questions in the comments, um, Jeez, look for go questions. ahead and start rattling those off. I got one question from before. Right. Um, best flanker uh, recently released. So, you know, this year or the last year. What's your favorite Recently flanker? released best flanker. Oh, recently uh, that's released. a question. That's a really good question because like, yeah. Yeah, it's flanker season. Liking intense. <laughs> Liking intense. Prada Long oh. Intense. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, holy oh. smokes. And I got a nice <laughs> Craigslist deal on this guy. Hey, hey, A Y E, A. Hey. 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 Those home deals that you've been catching all the discontinued set. Uh, uh, yeah, that that best flanker of recent, like uh, Urban yeah. Man. That's that's re that's a really good answer from from, from James. To be honest, <laughs> yeah. Best flanker is like a clone from our mom. Club de New Intense Urban Man. Club de New. Well, yo yo, he's gonna say like P P E I Noir. <laughs> I I know the worst flanker so far that's released in my personal opinion. What is it? Wood, wood intense oh. is to me the worst flank. I don't know. I just don't like it one bit. Mine's in the mail. <laughs> so I'm, I'm interested to see what you guys think. Like the people who are a fan of wood, wood. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan of wood, wood. I just wood, wood intense. It did not do it. Yeah, for me. I, know what I'm talking about. I hate the idea of wood, wood intense. I hate the idea yeah. that the private blend is getting flankers like that. Intense. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least in the really Portofino Forte. You know, it had a point to it. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. it gives you a few more hours of performance and you get a sick That's gold great. plate. But, mm -hmm. but, I mean, it's a classic. You know, and even like a silver plate. plate for Uber. Yeah. <laughs> it's a silver plate. Yo, I'm trying to Sweet. think of an answer. Holy crap. I don't think I. I could go into the niche territory. Yeah. That would be I think really we are going to have to. I'm gonna say Bergamot Noir by Dijkstra fragrances, because because I like that more than I will. Uh, yeah, because like I think it's smoky as hell and it's hilarious and it's an awesome transition scent for summer to spring, um, summer to to fall, autumn, yeah. and uh, it's it's unique and I, I actually think it's more wearable than some people give it credit for. But just mm -hmm. go with one or two sprays. Yes, it will stain your clothes. Watch out, but it is yeah. a lovely fragrance. Dark juice. Yeah. For me, it's a uh, table in the bottle. It's nice. Really? 
Oh, oh, that oh, yeah. Atlantic, that Atlantic, of course. Blue, blue beast. Yeah, blue beast is I call it my blue beast. I love how he's rewriting history. <laughs> this is twelve years. Right. This is the new blue beast. I think I've shown this on every single live stream so far, if I'm not mistaken. I kind of want to go back and. Yo, I, I real talk. I love the aqua man. bottles because. Yes. Like, if you don't like someone, you can always like throw it at them. And this wow. Man, man. You just. Did you just flex the bottle? Yeah, like flexing that, that bottle all day. Is that, Dude, is that like the kind Atlantic's of better than Dylan Blue, boys? Yeah, I will say that. I got Yo, the best right now. He just here. Damn, it's good. Dude, that, those, those top notes. Man. So <laughs> yeah, the top Yo, notes. Yo, Atlantic so is better than Dylan Blue. Yeah. Best flanker for uh, yeah. that just released recently for me is I think James is gonna have a good laugh at this. Is actually very cool spray. So, yeah. Oh my I'm god. It has you, it has great food no. in it. It's actually better than Savage. It's, like it's it smells better. more fresh. It projects. I'm more. not hearing this right now. Savage <laughs> actually, it's actually a really potent juice. It's so good. I think it's because I don't know how much I'm actually spraying every time I spray it on. It's like you spray it, you know. I know. And it's crazy Yo, good so here in Vegas. And I'm like, I'm finding myself using so the very cool spray since over Savage. I haven't reached for Savage lately because I've just been reaching for the very cool spray. Well, I, don't know, I just love the grapefruit, like addition to the top note. It smells amazing. <laughs> Are you hashtags now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like are you no Savage VCS? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Like I, I, I don't hate it, but darn, I, I didn't think you'd be heavy on it, fam. That's cool. Like um, as a fan of Savage, I have to say it's better than Savage. It is. Wow. Uh, dang. <laughs> it's the better. The more I use it, the more I like. It's cemented in my mind. Though, that, better. Yeah, it it's, is better. It's nicer off the skin. It, mm -hmm. it, it's actually enjoyable for even a frag head to smell mm -hmm. it. You're like, okay, you can appreciate it more than than the mm -hmm. off-putting no. Savage action. It's I love open. Brad just like thinking in his head, yo, let me holler at this atelier. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let me. <laughs> Where's the Burger Monster Brad edition? Yeah. Limited release. <laughs> we do that soon. Limited edition. I really should, man. I, sh I should reach out. Yeah, Brad Atelier, bro. Yo. Brad Amon Soleil. Brad Amon Soleil. Brad Amon Soleil. Brad Amon Soleil. Dude, I love that. Ah. Good, yeah. Yo, Trump Links. Drugs, <laughs> so like, yeah, what it hey. is, man. I can see it already. Yeah, with a leather sleeve and everything. Hey, oh, shit. hey. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any uh, more questions we got up in here? What's um, the best fig nice. based frag? Hmm, that's a tough question. I really don't have an answer to that. I have an answer to that. I have two. I have one. Right, go. Um, I know what you're gonna say. What? What? <laughs> You're going to say, let me guess. I think I'll get one of two, at least. Uh, Philosikos and Fico Diamalfi. Nailed it. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Free. Free. Fico's not my favorite notes. I don't have it. I don't like Fico. Oh. Fico is like Three. nice, though, man. It's, like, it's so sick. It's so good. It's, yeah. it's Fig done right, like mainstream appreciativeness. Because of the citruses and it's, did, did, did. it's dope. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a uh, figure Ardant Atelier again. I do a very nice fig. Yeah. I was like thinking like it's a fig from Atelier Cologne. I just don't remember the name. Yeah. But I bet he's gonna say that one. Of course. <laughs> it's um, it's it's nice. It actually, reminds me of if you ever tried Tommy Bahama's Set Sail Saint Martinique or whatever you call that one. It, it has a little bit yeah, of that. Yeah, there. About it, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's mm -hmm. it's nice. Wearable fig, touch of spiciness in there maybe, and it just complements the figginess in there very nicely. I think. Just wish it performed better is my thing, but. I think fig fragrances, for the most part, um, are definitely toned down the ones that we know and love, mm -hmm. uh, mainly because otherwise they come off smelling like or performing like a, like pulp, for example, by Barreto, yeah. which is a little bit more brazen. Oh, and yeah. uh, fig is one of those like almost yeah. uh, you know like introspective kind of fruits, you know, very evocative of like I guess like Greek thinkers and stuff like that. So they're always just chilled out, you know. Because mm -hmm. there's no big, you know, prominent fig scents that are at least popular within the community. Yeah. Say. You know, it's weird because I always thought that this this sounds crazy and uh, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I think it's time like Tom Ford Private Blends had a monstrous fig summer scent. I think that would be really cool. 
Mm. I don't think they delved into that note too much. You know what I mean? I think it's one thing that they, if they're missing anything, I think it's that. Like, how would you guys feel about that? And then they can charge six dollars per ml. <laughs> or more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. They, they can. Yeah, that would. That, they they could call Figgy fabulous, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Figgy fabulous, nice. Figgy fabulous. Fig fabulous. <laughs> There's a question fabulous. from earlier that I that I thought was really interesting. It was actually by TM Sense, our boy Tyler. Shout out to TM. Hey. Basically, he asked us to scent our personal heroes. So what's Great. like? Think of a personal hero in life and what scent would they wear? Hmm. Dang. Yeah, that's a loaded question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really yeah. A loaded question that any I think any of us are excited to answer. Um so triple ink. Uh send to your favorite golfer. Timmy, send Logan okay. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, like right now. Like. <laughs> sorry, so for me, I still my favorite golfer so Tiger Woods. Um not necessarily yeah. based on We're it. related. Well, oh, you by nationality. Yeah, nationality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would say like, not necessarily by life choices, but just by his uh, dedication to the, to like, the I game. Know. I'm okay with his life choices. He shouldn't have <laughs> let people know about it. Yeah, well, that was the problem, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's kind of messed up. Why would I do that? <laughs> so, I don't know what would Tiger Woods wear. He would wear something that's like dominate. He would probably wear a Ventus. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. He yeah, would probably wear a Ventus, hands down. The king, the it's best. Crazy. And just powerful in your face and just uh, intense, yeah, easily. It's super versatile, especially Nike make on the. Because you know. what? Oh, <laughs> Nike. Nike. Nike Swoosh Eau de Toilette. Yeah. Adidas makes experiments. Yeah. Nike, Nike, Nike should. From what I know. should get on that train. Oh, God. Watch Nike have like a, like a private line and stuff. Please don't. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't put that out there in the universe. Oh, man. Shoot. <laughs> Uh, actually, yeah, Tim, like, so something Logan Paul. <laughs> Logan <laughs> Paul. Oh, man. That's what tough. What's Logan Paul like? Logan <laughs> Paul. Sure okay, so if you guys don't know Logan Paul, to Probably. me, like, he's very, he's very, um, he knows how to have fun, but he also, he's also a hard worker at the same time, so. That's true. He, he wouldn't be definitely. where he is if he didn't work hard, so. Yeah. Um, definitely a scent that has to be equally as masculine as it is playful. Mm-hmm. Spice bomb. Okay. Yeah. See. I can definitely see dude wearing a spice bomb without a doubt. Dude, no, dude lives it up for sure. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's so free. Little mm. personal hero. Send really the perfumer of um, gypsy water. <laughs> Jerome Epinette. Well, like free. Like you wearing gypsy water. water. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that was easy. All right. Move on, James. <laughs> no, your hero's uh, gotta be one of those um, K-pop girls. <laughs> kind of maybe. Yeah. No, Byredo is popular in your circles. Too. Oh, no, go, oh, send yeah. Goku. I've been getting into Byredo recently too, man. <laughs> You're screwed up, Tim. <laughs> uh, my hero. Um, not to get all sappy, but it would be Gandhi. Hey, Gandhi. Just okay. Gandhi wear. Yo, huh. Gandhi would wear Naxos, guy. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> That's I think Gandhi wears Gandhi. Gandhi. Well, he, well, he was an attorney, so he could afford it, right? Oh, true. Number one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's number one. Yeah. Yeah. You wear molecule O one, I think. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Gandhi. I could. Oh, he could be. He could rock some oud. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Or sand, no, I would say sandalwood if anything. What's more of all? That's creamy. Awesome. And- of him, yeah. and of him, yeah. yeah. Maybe Omar by Dior. Omar, yeah. okay. I see what you're saying. He's afraid, 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 afraid is that yeah. that, yeah. that yeah. changed the game because he changed the world. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Why? Because Omar smells like Indian uh, food. Um, <laughs> yeah, Indian food. exactly. Yo, like, did anyone catch that? Like, yeah. like Omar's Yeah, like, I didn't want to point it out. But... <laughs> no, I'll say it. <laughs> like, can say it because you said it. God damn. <laughs> Yeah. That's the best. Yo, shout out to Gandhi, though. Rip. Yo, <laughs> shout out to Gandhi. Rip. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. All right. That, that was a good one. Yo, I mm-hmm. saw the big homie, uh, big homie Chris. Like, which celeb sense do you own? Ooh, yeah. that's a good one. Uh, I'm going to like one. Michael Jordan like, Legend, I think. 
Do, do I count so, as my own celebrity? I own ah, it. there you go. <laughs> I own, that, in that regard, I own a couple. Uh, uh, I, one of my favorites being, uh, it's called uh, Too Good to Tell. <laughs> Shout out to the big, yeah, to the big hey. homie. Shout out to the big homie right here. If y'all don't know already, it's Tim, of course. You know, putting in the work for the turtles themselves. <laughs> There's no one has because they don't have a voice. So, uh, you know, shout out to the proceeds if you know. Unless what I'm when they're when they're mating, they have a voice. They go. Yeah. <laughs> but yo, but real talk. The other celebrity fragrance I have, it's called like this by Tali Berdarange. Yep. It is uh, it was made for Tilda Swinton, who's one of my favorite actresses. Uh, and uh, it basically it reminded her, uh, or it's supposed to be evocative of her upbringing and her, and, um, and her personality as well. So I think it's a lovely scent. Very warm, very aut- uh, very autumnal. Yeah. Nice. James, yeah, do you own any celebrity scents? Yeah, I own a bunch by uh, Tom Ford. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Hey. No, and right your boy on. Chris Designer. <laughs> I, I do not have any celebrity sense, unfortunately. The uh, because when I when I learned about them, I was already too far in the game, and I was uh, a bit bougie, and I thought I was too good to get ben them. Bougie, yeah. Yo, <laughs> yo, let's be real. We're above them. I was above them. I wasn't above our moth, though. I got all the armoths. <laughs> hey, there you go. My, My favorite celebrity scent has to be um the one by with David Beckham. Oh, yeah, it's um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. really good. I think it's a it's it's like a less dense version of First Instinct by Abercrombie and Finch, and it was released before First Instinct, yeah, way before First Instinct. Way. Same name too, almost. Yeah. The same, <laughs> oh, really similar name. Deep I think they've got an experience. But it has that um, melon note, which Deep is swag, insanely, yeah. insanely good, and you can find it for like twenty something bucks. Super cheap. Rihanna Rogue is dope too. Rihanna Rogue is a yep. JC uh, Gold is okay too. Yo, if you guys know um, Sarah Jessica Parker, Sarah Jessica Parker SJP stash, that stuff is good too. That stuff is official. Okay. If you guys haven't known Max Forte's review on it. Yes. <laughs> Max <laughs> no, no, it's a lovely celebrity fragrance. Has anyone tried the Cristiano Ronaldo one? I've not. I've I'm the biggest heard, star I heard that, one, that one we have to ask Jay Kuplin because that's one of his favorite. I think. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yo, talk. Andy Pandy in the comments says, I have Bjorn Borg 6-0 from the 80s. He called his fragrance 6-0? <laughs> that is the most brazen shit I've ever heard. <laughs> is, is that a thing? I don't know, man. <laughs> I gotta look this up. I don't know, but I, I see Bjorn Borg. Apparently, Bjorn Borg has fragrance. I want a Gordon Ramsay fragrance that smells like his fa- famous steak or something. <laughs> what should it be called? It's Beef Wellington. <laughs> Beef Wellington. Medium rare by Gordon Ramsay. Medium rare. Yeah. Medium rare. It has to be medium rare, man. No, just call it rare because you know most mo- mo- chefs like are about the rare, right? Yeah. Not with not with Beef Wellingtons, dude, because you don't want to burn that uh, pastry on top. Mm-hmm. Ooh, <laughs> a little chef in the house here. No. <laughs> has anyone ever tried a Johnny Walker fragrances? Do they smell as boozy as the? The products that they put out. Bad and boozy. <laughs> Bad and boozy. <laughs> Yo, Do you want to wear our whiskey? Nah. Here you go. You can wear our whiskey. At that point, <laughs> I'm just going to wear a Killian's, fam. But I mean, you already got, yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. You already got the best Killian's. You got the best Apple mosquito spray, spray I've ever heard. I got, you got the best I, mosquito uh, attractants. <laughs> Yo, I got single malt. I got the mosquito attracting apple, apple brandy. Apple. How much I will got, you give me for that? Apple? I mean, how much do you want for the apple brandy? It's like straight oh, up. Oh, we'll, we'll be we'll be we'll be in touch. We'll be in touch. Okay. And, uh, You're only you missing know, sacred um, wood, dude. One of the best. I have you. sacred morning wood. You have now. <laughs> <I> showed on <laughs> stream. Morning wood. <laughs> nice. I showed on stream. Sacred wood. Okay, that's what it's called. S M W. That's the real S M W. The real S M W. Well, the real S M W. Please stand up. There we go. All right. Any more questions? Yeah, the, the big homies we... with the questions. I'm sure. Yeah. They, I'm sure the screen yeah, monsters are out. What would you guys wear on a formal summer night? Ooh. Free. 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 All right, you go first. 
<laughs> yeah, um, it's called uh, Lise Méditerranée by Frédéric Moll. Frédéric Moll, yeah. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. And it's just this upscale lily scent that's so natural smelling. It was made with uh, what they call headspace technology. So they basically take uh, whatever ingredient or notes they want to use, put the actual ingredient within this tube and suck the essence out of it. And that's why it smells so natural. It's just a lovely scent. Super versatile, but it I guess it does lean formal. And uh, the performance in the summer heat is just, you just radiate, or at least I do. I love it. So that, that would be it. Event is a close do, second, though. I would wear Tom Ford's Venetian Bergamot. It's one of my favorites. That's a good answer. Yeah. And good answer. Best for the summertime. Sweet. I would wear uh, by Killian's. Um, uh, the vodka one. Um, Walk on the rocks. Walk on the rocks. Yeah, I was having. Oh, that's that. a yeah. nice one. Definitely, that's yeah. one I actually want to own myself. Like the yeah. lemon drop in the opening is so nice, and actually has. Like, would go about that. Yeah, that dry <laughs> herbal. <laughs> Damn. Dude. It has to be the citrus. Of course, yeah. It's it just, had to be lemon drop because for like Brad's candy. birthday, we'll just buy him like a yeah. fruit basket with all the citrus in it. <laughs> no, just buy him a bunch of lemon heads. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> just, yeah. And just like to make it look like we're not that cheap, like let's get a bunch of Italian cologne samples from Evan and call <laughs> before he has oh, all of them. Yes, he does. <laughs> we love you, Brad. <laughs> No. <laughs> right. really. Dude, I'm getting destroyed in this draft right here. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. I just missed, I know. These guys, double duty. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Okay. Wait. What, what about James? What, you, what would you rock? Guys, you know I gotta go Renaissance. <sighs> Renaissance. Wow. Is there a wow. mm -mm -mm. I haven't smelled. Yo, a lot we of need those to call you. Oh, man, James. I think we have the new nickname for you. We gotta call you the X Man. The X yeah, I'm down with that. James X is the X man. Man. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, because like, there's Sean, man. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, various brands associated with us. Brad with Atelier. Yep. Myself with Pyredo. James is the X Man. The X Man. That's good. Yeah, Tim is matriarch, you know? <laughs> yeah, this is Dang. what's up. We have now, like, all these. We need like, like, a raise now. now. We need something that rolls off the tongue for each of us. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love. I, I we, we love the X Man. The X Man, it's good. That's what's okay, Renaissance is a great answer. Yeah, That's a day or night, answer. day or night, because it's the citrus woody. It's just so so gangster, and it, it lasts all day. So, it's my king of summer in yeah. terms of versatility. Neo, I think, is more of a bright citrus. That's really really awesome. But Renaissance can do it all in the summer. Mm. Mm. Renaissance. Cool. Renaissance. All right, guys, we have some more questions here in the comments. Anything that you want to ask us, go ahead. Let's see if we can dig and find any other ones. Someone asked uh, about uh, date fragrances. Okay. Why do we, dude? <laughs> yeah. Yo, say? just going to quickly answer this. White Shadow, what about Sublime Vanille or a former summer night? Hell yeah. Just, no brainer. If you already own it. If, yeah, is that only rich. available in, in the huge size, right? Or, it is. Yeah. Oh no, it was. It was. Now so yeah. Vanille is it's like five seventy five, I think, for the seventy five bill still. God, does it last though? <laughs> That's the question. No, I don't. I don't know. But you can yeah. you can get decants a bit. You know, yeah, if you're right. gonna wear wear decants, because if you buy the bottle, I really suggest against it because it's it's way too much, man. Seventy five bill mm -hmm. for five hundred plus. Damn. Crazy. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. That's um, not including tax. Mm -hmm. Let's be tax. real. It's because it's a part of that line. Mm -hmm. But as far as the type of ingredient going into there, like, like none of those oils been, are like, in the middle of the same line. To be. Yeah, I 1,000% agree. The thing is, I don't think, I, we were talking about that line. I don't think any scent in that line is worthy of being in that line. To be completely honest, press. I think they all. Real talk, I don't think. I think that line is super whack. You know, it is. Uh. Like, let's be real. Um, on scent alone, I still prefer most of the mill seams. Mm -hmm. Like minus the uh, what's it called? Minus the evaluation. You know, the evaluation for the mill seams are super expensive in, yeah. to begin with. 
Uh, but you know, Creed, like we're not their target market. You know, people in like tax brackets that are four or five levels higher than us. Are. Easy. Yeah. So it yourself, might even bro. be sexier. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yo, Shasta. And the X Men. <laughs> That's a new thing. I love it, man. Out here, yo, this guy has as many bottles as me in a year. I've been doing this for like five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the X Factor. That's it. The X Factor. Yeah. Wait. What? Well, what? Well, well, so, what do you guys prefer, X Men or X Factor? I, I like the X Men. That's that good. I like X Men. Yeah. X Men. Yeah. That's it's, uh, I actually had that idea because there's this um, there's this friend, uh, no Belgian. A uh, tennis player, uh, Xavier Malice, mm -hmm. and his nickname was the X Man. So I just like, yo, <laughs> that's, uh, that's Jay Will. And Tim's messing around with his camera on some vlog shit. <laughs> He's like, back and forth, back and forth. Yo, okay, good, good. There's a good war right here. Ch Man versus Ch Man Probate. Chris Williams is asking. We actually, please, we answered that, answer that question early on. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And it's okay. funny that you say that, man, because like, we all we're... said Privé. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's good, man. Because Manny would pick Central, like... Park. Central Park. Central No, I wouldn't. You know I wouldn't. Grand Tour. I wouldn't pick Central Park. Grand Tour. Grand Tour. Grand Tour. Grand Tour. Grand Tour. Grand Tour. Sport. 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 Oh, I love Grand Tour. Man. Yeah, how do you do it? It's so it's so nice, man. Like, I don't Tus know. Tuscan leather versus La Yukawam. That's free. La Yukawam. La Yukawam. La Yukawam. La Yukawam. You get seventy five mil instead of fifty. Yeah, <laughs> for that price. <laughs> yeah. Nice raspberry. Yeah, the, the presentation is still on point. It's yeah. it's better. <laughs> I would say it's like the better in every easy. every single category. It it mm -hmm. performs more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty beast. The only reason you should buy Tuscan leather nowadays is either A, for the name if you're a brand whore, or B, <laughs> if you really care about having the original. And those but are not really bad reasons when you. Tuscan leather? No, it's not anymore because it's, it's shit now. The original Ooh. is gone. Exactly. Yeah, 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 that, no, but you La know what I'm smells more like the original. <laughs> Wow, huge roach. Facts. <laughs> F A X. Facts. Roach. Fun facts. <laughs> yeah. That's what that was what's up. That is what's yeah. up. Oh uh, wow. Oh yo yo. Um Casey has a uh, interesting question. BR five forty or event is for formal based on my collection. And I personally think it's not even close. If we're talking about summer formal Aventus, just because BR540, um, the scent cloud you will get, or at least I would get in the summer, is the scent cloud I'd get anytime else I'd wear it. And that's very candy-ish. And I don't want to smell like candy in the summer. That And my acidic Asian skin type will just, like, it just radiates too much for me. <laughs> and I, I think Aventus is just right for the summer formal fragrance uh, category, for sure. What about you guys? How do you feel about that? Same, pretty much. I mean... Baccarat Rouge 5, I mean, yeah, they're both fairly similar price. Apparently, the new x stride isn't good at all for, uh, by most people's accounts. Um, for the evaluation. What? No, I mean, <laughs> yes, you, out of those there's two, no way just gain a that. thousand subscribers. <laughs> I came back. Boosted. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, Aventus for, yeah, summer formal would be nice. And then um, that cotton, you know, the cotton candy type of a vibe that Baccarat Rouge 540 has. I'm a summer. Yeah, it's not. It's gonna be too too cooling. I think, especially. I mean, in my summer, it's hundred degrees. On um, the regular, pretty much wouldn't wouldn't work for me. So I think Aventus would would, 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 would handle it nicely. Um, Avantus. Yeah. Avantus for everything. <laughs> for everything. Especially in the summer. Especially in the yeah. summer. Yeah. Avantus. For Avantus. I, Tim, what would you say? Aventus. Easily, easily. There's like, no reason to wear baccarat like easily. something sweet for the summertime. Like unless it has some fresh note with it, you, you, there's no reason to wear it really. And you are the 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 sweet sweet king. And uh, and, yeah. and I love sweet fragrances. I wouldn't wear a lot of sweet fragrances if I'm actually going out somewhere. I would wear it in the house, but we're talking mm. formal setting. I'm, I would not wear it. Sir. Yeah. Mm. True. Okay. No. Fair. Fair. Fair play. Fair play. Uh, okay, yo, Lamez Curia has a good question. 
is there a fragrance that smells like Irish cream whiskey? Phantom. Mm. Black Phantom. Black Phantom, yes. The yes. opening. Definitely Irish cream. And actually, there's a scent from Dua that I haven't tried yet, but it's actually called Noble Irish Cream or something like that. Um, which is Black Phantom inspired. Yeah, pretty much. But <laughs> actually, no, no, no. That was an original blend, though. That's one. In, I'm pretty sure that's an original blend. I want to say, but I think I saw some other. But it has like the coffee, you know, the kind of whiskey Irish cream type vibe to it. So I don't know. Maybe check that one out. But that's one that I could think of off the top of my head. Yo, um, actually, when I heard the name Black Phantom, obviously, I was, like, singing Panda in my head. Like, <laughs> Black and Six Phantom. Panda. Ew, Six look like a panda. <laughs> Rolling up like a Montana 100. <laughs> I can't. But it's, it's a lovely fragrance. Does anyone have another one? We're doing a chance? panda video when I get to Canada. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Free. Yeah. yeah. When we do uh, Panda 2017 by... Yeah, yeah, I'll bring it by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we're, we could, we're reading up with Victor, anyways. We're gonna hit up Vic. Shout out to Vic. See what's up. I'll, I'll hit him up. Uh, but yeah, yo, yo. Um, like, well, what kind of brand is that? Uh, or a question? What? What else is everyone else? Uh, mm. Oh, I see what Andy Pandy meant. Six O is a set in tennis. Uh, no, like. I, I get that. I'm not, I'm actually a huge tennis fan. It's literally my favorite sport. Six O is a bagel. Yeah, for sure. Bagel. Without a doubt. Yeah, I'm I'm about that. I follow like the WTA and ATP religiously. I go to Canada Cup every every Shapovalov. year. Canadian Open. Yeah. So um, yeah, no. Uh, El Chapo was. You know, he was. I, I, I haven't. I didn't even watch him this today. He lost. <laughs> he, he he lost PCB. He lost the PCB seven six seven. Oh my God! Really? Oh, I got. Oh, that, that's rough. rough, rough. Uh, what can you do? No, I, I love tennis. Tennis inspired sense. The soft one. Oh, Imagine dude! I got an imaginary author sample set finally. Um, oh, cool! Yeah. Josh sent it over to me, so I'm going to be reviewing that pretty soon. A little sneak peek and. Uh, I know this sense of every episode. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's you not can't be like sense of party. You have to be in a like a library. Oh, yes. that's the, you just oh, gave an idea for a film. There you goodness. go. Okay, no, hold on. First off, you're welcome. Uh, and secondly, I can't watch. I can't wait to watch it. Yeah, Dude. me too. Me too. Dude. Yeah, you better do this in like it, like in like yes. Movie. If you do like library. a Bulgari Aqua li line review, you have to be in the ocean. <laughs> yes. with, with a snorkel. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's snorkel, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but seriously, man, that's an awesome idea. Like, I was thinking of just filming like after like I, norm like I normally do, but, um, dude, that's awesome. Like, and you know, you got to do it in like where books are at now. Yeah, and they, sure. they, they came with the bookmarks it's too, fun. and like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's it's gonna look weird bringing. I don't know if I can bring my camera in there necessarily. Um, oh, you don't necessarily have to do it in a, like a library, but place like maybe you have books. a study in your house that has books. Or yeah, something yeah. Like that. Just make the most out of your set. You I know you're a crafty guy. Do you have like a point and shoot camera? Uh, at all, like a small camera? Or not? Uh, I mean, the only thing I have would, would be my phone. Oh, but I see, nice. Tim. I see what you're trying to do. I see what you're trying to do. No, I mean, like, you can, film, you, so can, you can film, upgrade you can film things. the cinematics <laughs> in the library, like the cinematic sequences. And you can film the reviews at home. That's what I'm saying. True, 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 yeah. I'm, I might just go in and like, ask and just be like, if I can just bring it in, if I just go in this corner and do my thing. I don't, I don't know what they would say. But. Yeah, I'm gonna, Cam, just sell the G7X. Um, <laughs> uh, dude, I, that, was, that was so fast. I don't even have to try. So. I know, man. I don't know why you're trying to get rid of it. You're crazy. <laughs> no, I just want the 120 <laughs> FPS. I mean, that's good for you because you make it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you can't. You really can't. That's lovely. Yo, um, what's it called? White, uh, White Shadow said earlier, Tiger Woods probably wears a Green Valley. Green Valley. Ah, by the way, ah. I got a sample Green Valley Creed right Ooh. here. Oh, there, there, there she is. Wait, 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 how how'd you acquire that? Uh, it was actually sent to me, I think by uh I'm not sure. I think Timmy was saying that his friend, you know, some other reviewer sent this to me. 
is from what yep. I, I understand. So fist so bump. TM Sense. Wait, who's yep. the review? TM, TM Sense. TM Sense. Yep. Shout out to TM Sense. So, Tyler. yeah, that was What awesome. do you think of it? So it's really good. I, it reminds me a little bit of Green Irish Tweed in a, in a way, but there's something different about the green notes. It's not as heavy and musky. It's just more fresh and upbeat. It actually smells more modern to me. Um, it's way more nautical. Number yeah, one. it is. It, it's sort of like a little yeah. bit of Milsim Imperial. Like you take that aquatic sort of feel that it has kind of. Um, yeah, it's it's awesome. I've I've won a full bottle now, obviously, but can't uh, even find it. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really good. So thanks, Tyler, for sending that to me. That was awesome of you to do. Yo, I know you bounced yeah, out a little while ago, but it's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, how about this one? Uh, this is from No Way. It's Polo Supreme Oud or Leather, and I'm actually going to be reviewing one of these coming up. So for me, it's Polo Supreme Leather. It's super underrated for what it is. Um, great like soft spicy suede like leather with uh, nutmeg and like honey um just really really nice so that's me i don't know if you guys have tried any of those i go supreme, uh, mood. supreme mood. I go supreme leather myself too mm -hmm. i've not tried any of them i can't give me i like supreme oud because I, when i was looking for a nice designer oud it was one of my uh Top choices, even more so than Versace good. Oud Noir, uh, which is like poor man's Oud Wood. But, uh, <laughs> Oud Noir. The only reason I didn't get Supreme Oud was just because it was it wasn't available um, where I was looking for it. Mm -hmm. But uh, but leather is great too. Uh, I mean, I just le the the note of leather it has to have a very specific uh, composition to, for me to you know enjoy it. I mean, mm -hmm. Oud. I mean, it's winter like. You know, bang. As long as it's big. Yeah. 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 They're really good. Totes. Hmm. There, we take a few more questions, probably, and then we're wrapping take, around. Ooh. Take one or two more. Yeah, if you want. Cool. Uh, any last see. second question, guys? Uh, Is there anything comments? that either of us want to address by any chance? Uh, are we debuting the new channel and stuff like that, or what's up? I think, right? Next, I think we. Next week. Next week. Next week, we're actually debuting a new channel for team, the Team Top Five um, official channel. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we're uh, on our channel. We're gonna do so all the live stream from next week's on. It's gonna be on the Team Top Five channel. So um, one of us, let's uh, Bradley. Uh, you should leave a link down in the description yeah. if you haven't yet for this for this live stream. So Bradley's gonna leave the link down in the description for you guys to check out. Please go subscribe to it. The next live stream. For next week's going to be on that channel and the purpose of that channel is not only for us to do live streams but we're also going to do collab videos between the members of team top five like i think one uh video a week at the very least we're going to try to make two if we can but at the very least one video a week from us the team top five we'll collab maybe not all of us at once but maybe like two or three of us collab on a video or something yeah, it's going to be really really fun yeah. and um the goal with it is is that to create a really fun, fun new type of environment to watch fragrance videos, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's not just one person on a channel now; it's a whole team, it's yep. a squad, and it's just the, the energy. Is just gonna, yeah, the, the crew. The energy is just going to feel a lot different from you subscribing to one person. Now you're subscribing to like a team, or something even uh, something more. So it's going to feel really the, good. The people, sort of people. Mm -hmm. The people, and it's the the content is going to be fire because all of us <laughs> have really great ideas, and we're, it's four brains, guys. Oh, yeah. Four put, brains put on together one channel. Five. Five. Put together, five. man. Five. Really five. Oh, yeah. yeah. Five. What was Ashton, too? Oh, wait, yeah, if Ashton comes back. Ooh. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we, we miss love Ashton. Ashton. We miss Ashton. Miss um, Ashton. He needs to come back. But, yeah, we, also, we have a bunch um, of great ideas. So it would be a really fun sh channel yeah. for you guys. Also, guys, see on the line afterwards. I have to run something by you. <laughs> right. But um, cool. we'll talk. Yeah, we, we got lots to debut on Team Top Five, uh, you know, YouTube channel, and uh, stay mm -hmm. with us on Facebook and uh, the chats that uh, we may or may not have on uh, each other's channels. Uh, that being said, can't wait to collaborate with the homies here. And you guys have been wonderful. And all the stream monsters out there, thank you for tuning in. We love you. Yeah. And uh, anyone else cool. or? Yeah. I think that should be good. Yeah, actually, I, I just added the uh, Team Top 5 channel link in the description to this video. So it is good if you guys want to go check that out and start up the subscriber train. We want to get as many uh, fans from all of our channels into that, oh, yeah. like fu funnel in there all at once if, if we can. So um, that is in there for you guys to go and check out. And I think we'll all be talking about it hopefully in our 
videos on our own channels. Maybe at the end, we'll just say, you know, also mm -hmm. check out more of me on Team Top Five and stuff like that. Because you know, we are a member of this of this team, right? We're gonna now. make it the fastest growing fragrance channel possible. So guys, yeah, it's, yeah. it's gonna be insane. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So I think that's gonna do it. Uh, thank you guys for all hanging out here again. This is our stream number ten. We just broke through double digits. That was a huge thing. Thank you to everybody who was watching, all of our fans supporting. Uh, we do it for, your, for you all in, in the comments. It's amazing the support that you guys have been showing us. Uh, it's mm -hmm. been awesome. And that's why we do this. And that's why we're starting up this new channel. And it's just awesome to see how everything is growing. And I want to add one thing. If you guys have any suggestion at all, our Facebook page, Team Top 5, send us a message on like a segment maybe you want to see. And we get enough requests for that. Maybe we'll add it. We'll consider it, you know, because it's all about you guys. We want to make contents that you guys want, that you guys want to see, that you guys enjoy to see. So we're all about innovating. If you guys have any great ideas for a segment, send it to us. We'll consider yeah. it definitely. So that's in our Facebook group at Team Top Five. Links in the description as well. Awesome. Well, that about wraps it up. Hey. This is stream number ten. See you guys. See you guys. Next, uh, See you on, uh, Team Top Five. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right.